Expo 1, Door to Phantom Isle. And I have my big stack here of all the Klonoa games. I've got every single one of them now. And this game has actually already been remade before on the Wii. So, there's the original for the PS1. There's the one on the Wii. And I presume this version is based on the Wii version. Because obviously that would be the more up-to-date port and it would be a lot easier for them to work with. So let's start on normal and if you've never played Klonoa before it's um, a really interesting platformer series with um, with a really nice story to it and it's also got some really nice uh, very unique attributes to it as well. We have to pick the enemies up and use them as platforms to to get to higher platforms and things. So hopefully it'll be really interesting to watch this. I really love the series. As I said, I've got every single game in the series now. There they all are. And I've got them all out because I'm planning to do a retrospective on my YouTube channel at some point in the future. So here's a nice intro. It looks like there's a few modern tweaks as well, so you can speed it up or you can skip it. Oh, yeah, I forgot that uh, apparently the physical version that we got for the Switch, this one, only actually came out in Europe, which is really weird. I'm not sure why that is. I didn't even know that was a thing. It was just, it was quite cheap as well. I think I only paid like 25 or 30 for it. For a, for a new game, that's pretty good anyway. Apparently there's a few problems with the Switch version of the game, but we'll see how it goes. It seems okay so far. Never heard of Klonoa. Well, I guess it is quite a unheard of series, really. Not really sure why. It's one of one of Namco's like biggest characters, but I guess they didn't really do that much with him. Um, I think maybe the GBA game, this one here, the first one for the GBA, was quite popular when that came out. Wow, look at these super bright colours. And you might think that it's a 3D platformer from that intro there, but it's actually a 2.5D game. So you always run into the left or the right. And the levels actually loop around on themselves, which is really cool as well. Kind of like, I think like Pandemonium on the PS1, that sort of game. I just realised I didn't put my light on. I'll make the camera a little bit brighter. And I've got it changing colours back there as well. So. I'm loving what they've done with the graphics so far. It looks like all the cutscenes are done in engine as well this time. Whereas I think they were CG before. So that looks pretty nice. And I kind of missed what the actual story is. Apparently it has a really heartfelt story, but I never really paid that much attention to it. Uh, Reanimator just said that Asia gets a physical copy too, just not North America. That's really weird, I wonder why that is. I don't know. I presume it's as popular in North America as it is here in the UK. It came from Bell Hill, sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go take a look, Lenora. Oh, I love this music, this is so nostalgic to me. Uh, okay, apparently there's a two-player mode as well. Uh, jump player with support. This wasn't in the original game. When the, sec the second player can press A to add a boost of wind. Support jumps if you follow the support jump gauge. Okay, that's interesting. So, yeah, unfortunately straight away I can see the frame rate isn't great. But the resolution looks nice. But yeah, it's a little bit choppy. The graphics are really nice and colourful though, so gather 100 dreamstones to get an extra Glenoa, gather 100 uh, blue dreamstones worth 5 green ones to 150 in each stage. So this is what I was saying about the unique mechanic of the, oh my god we don't want all these tutorials, the unique mechanic of the game, so you can pick the enemy up and then you can jump in the air and use them as a platform, and you can also jump and hold down the jump button to do this flutter, flutter jump as well which will help you get across some of the bigger gaps later on in the game. Um, and you can also throw things into the foreground and background as well. 
And as it just said there, you can crack open the eggs too. But you need to pick an enemy up and then throw it into the background like that to crack the egg open. So it's a really unique mechanic. I've never really seen anything like it before. And there's some enemies like that that can lift you up in the air as well. Um, there's also these phantom millions that have been trapped in nightmares. Find them all. So you just have to pop the bubbles and you can free them and then it adds to a little jigsaw puzzle that obviously uh, throughout the game you can slowly uncover the pictures in there. Which is cool. And so some enemies respawn, like that one, if you need to use it again. Um, and that's basically a checkpoint. The clocks are a checkpoint, basically. So yeah, I really do enjoy this game, and this series in general. I've played and finished all of them, except... Um, this one, one second. This one, which I actually got from Japan quite recently. This is Klonoa Heroes. And this one is actually an RPG, and it's also really difficult to find. So I went on Baii and finally caved in and found it for a good price and bought that. And there is a fan translation out there online as well these days. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting that up and running and actually playing through it in English. And I don't really know anything about it either, so it'll be really interesting to see what it's actually like. So yeah, if anyone's played Kalenoa Heroes on the GBA before, let me know, because I really don't know what to expect from it. Other than it's an RPG and it's nothing like the other games. Looks like it has a isometric perspective and maybe some anime cutscenes. And maybe even some sort of leveling up system from the pictures on the back of the box. So that should be interesting. How's everyone's days been? Let's see who's watching. We've got six viewers, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Bakipum, for following me one hour ago. And Formula Sumo, uh, Tip Run. Jayco83, Super 80s Gamer, and Smith6, since I did the last stream yesterday, so that's really cool to see so many new people already. And now I have to see an old man. Hey kids, you shouldn't be sneaking around in here. Sorry. Apology accepted. I'm Baloo the Mason. So you had to look at my... It's my masterpiece. And ever since that moment, Klonoa became a simp. She must be a very popular idol to have an entire mountain carved out of her face. Or a face carved to look like her face. Not her face carved out of her face. I'm tired. That's why I've got a monster. I've, been, I've not really been paying attention, so I don't know really what it's on about. Basically, whatever, crazy man. We've got to go. So long. Huh. And then he just flies off. He doesn't even need a tower, he can just fly off. It's a shame the frame rate's not great. It does seem quite stuttery. Okay. These tutorials are annoying. I can't remember whether they're in the original game or not. That one was basically saying, you might need to go up here to carry on through the level. As if you wouldn't figure that out anyway. Don't get hit by that. It seems nice and responsive at least, even though the frame rate's a bit juddery. But I can live with it. I grew up in the N64 days, so frame rates don't bother me. Yeah, I got an extra life. Whoa, a remake of a game that actually still has lives. Am I going the wrong way? I think I've gone round myself. 
He's like the hiker in Pokemon, but funny. I think he was a dog the way he was barking as he was talking to me. Did I go the wrong way? I'm supposed to take the path down the bottom, I can't remember. I've missed something, judging by that thing on the side. Find mirror spirits and dream stones. When the mirror spirit is an accompanying Klonoa, each dream stone he finds is worth double. Okay, so now I can pick these gems up and they're worth twice as much as they were before. And there's the final one of those things to collect. Something to remember when you're playing this game is if the cameras turn into the side, um, you won't be able to catch enemies, but you can throw them around the corner. And that is the end of level one. And we got everything on that stage. It does seem a bit weird that it can't hold 60 frames a second, considering it's a game from like 25 years ago. Yeah, 25. It's the 25th anniversary, isn't it? Like, the original game ran better than this, but never mind. Unlock the extra mission. The map will show you all the phantom aliens you've rescued through the nightmares. Save them all to unlock an extra vision. And the visions are basically the names for the different levels. And you can see the puzzle piece there. I filled that one in all the way. This one's empty. Apparently I missed one gem in that first stage. I'm not going to go through 100% complete it, at least not on not on stream anyway. Let's, uh, let's just play through it normally, I don't really want to wait around too much. I wonder if I can get over there with one jump. Maybe not, but maybe I can use that to bounce on. No. I did actually try and record a let's play of the GBA Clonoa game many years ago when I was at uni, but I wasn't really happy with it, so I gave up after a while. Yeah, there we go. There's the first puzzle piece done. Let's see if there's anything else up here. No. Nope. So, anyone watching, have you ever played the Clonoa games before? Do you have a favourite in the series? I think a lot of people say that Clonoa 2 is a favourite, and I'd probably agree as well, so. I'm really excited to get to that one after. But the first game is really good too. And uh, yeah, the GBA game holds a lot of good memories for me. I didn't get it at launch, I actually only got it about 10 years ago maybe. Um, and I wanted to buy it from a shop in Newtown, but the owner there is a bit weird and he wouldn't actually sell it to me, even though it was on display. Because he thought it'd be worth more in the future or something. Which is no way to run a shop. Like, why have the game on show if you're not going to sell it to anyone? But yeah, so I wasn't happy about that. And then Sarah actually bought it for me for, for my birthday one year, I think. Or for Christmas. One or the other. And she made me a Clonoa pillow as well at the time, too. I'll see whether I can find a picture of that, because that was really nice. It was like one of those plushy pillows that are shaped like the character. Which was a really nice surprise. But yeah, I've loved the series for a long time, even though I didn't actually have many of the games back in the day. I got the Wii game when it came out, the remake of the first one, which I really enjoyed. Which was basically the same as this, but if I remember right, the Wii version had like a few more effects that this one doesn't, which is a bit weird. I'm not really sure why this one's actually missing some graphical features. It's a case of another rushed, rushed remake, I think, for an anniversary. Just like Sonic. Not a body pillow. <laughs> Throw the enemies at least to defeat them. Defeated enemies leave lots of dream stones. You can also inflate enemies by hitting them with a wind bullet and then hit a ride on their heads. Look at all those dreamstones. Let 
was just a tiny little bonus area. And I forgot I should head back quick because the gems are worth double. And I probably shouldn't have killed him straight away. Maybe that's why I didn't get anything for it. Yeah, my Klonoa body pillow secrets are out now. <laughs> I do love the series though, and um, my profile picture on Twitter for a long time was Klonoa, and I think I had something that was like Klonoa and Miku, like um, a crossover image. I can't really remember what that was used for, but I remember having that for a long time. Keep an eye out for the hidden Nagapo eggs. Some eggs are invisible, look for their shadows on the ground. Whoa, what a surprise. Pick this guy up here and then throw him to crack that egg open. And. Yeah, it says I've got two left. I was wondering whether I could see if I'm missing any of the creatures to find the stage. I can't remember what the names are. I'm just going to have a look on the other side of this bridge to see if there's one over there. No, that's where I came from, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I don't think I've missed anything. Let's just carry on. This music is so nostalgic, I love it. The frame rate's cleared up in here, maybe it just doesn't like being outside, maybe there's too much going on. Ow! Can't remember how to get to the bit in the middle. Aim for the mysterious seals, if you find a mysterious seal, try throwing an enemy into it. You'll look down the pillars and be able to continue on your adventure. As if a big X in a circle wasn't an obvious enough thing to do. So I'll come back over there in a second. Oh, I need to save him. Oh, there's another one. There we go, there's another one rescued. And I think this just goes round in a circle. Am I going back around in a circle? Oh no, that took me to that bit. There you go, that's how I get that. And you can see how the game is kind of 3D, but then once you touch the floor, it goes back into being 2D again. Which was an interesting way of doing a platformer back in the PS1 Sega Saturn era, having the 2.5D perspective. I think it works really well. And it kind of feels like um, an older generation game, in a sense, because of the way it plays, but at the same time, they made the most of the 3D technology as well, which is a nice sort of compromise. And of course, the style of the game suits itself really well to just a completely 2D game as well, so that's why the GBA games, so I've got the second one there as well, Dream Champ Tournament, and it even got a game on the Wonderswan as well. There it is, called M Moonlight Museum. Uh, okay, so they they found that diva that the old guy was talking about, the, the Pokemon trainer slash dog. <laughs> and this evil guy has come to kidnap her. Can't allow you to save the world with your little song of rebirth. So apparently she has some sort of magical powers to save the world. Once I imprison you in darkness, it shall be destroyed. Ha 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 ha. The, um, the voice acting hasn't been improved since the PS1 days. It still sounds the same. Where's that pendant? I'm sure the animation was better in the older game as well. What are they looking for? They said something about a pendant. It appears we have some mice. Black. 
Why does he look like the bad guy from Metroid, uh, Metroid Dread? Oh no, we've been spotted. Who are you people anyway? Time for a boss fight. I remember some of the bosses being a bit frustrating, if I remember right. It has been a long time since I played them. It's showtime. Well, we get to fight a really brightly coloured, weird dinosaur thing. Run around the back and throw an enemy at Rongo Longo's. Rongo Lango's rear. His name's Rongo Lango. These bosses are very similar to the ones that you'd find in something like Sonic Rush. Oh no, he didn't see that coming. Of course, they start off super easy, but I'm sure that some of the bosses later on in the game were really frustrating. I was wondering how far you can throw the enemy, it's not that far then. I wonder if you can hit the bell if that does anything. Ah, yeah, it's summoned a heart. That was worth trying then. Is he gonna jump? No. Oh no. Oh, I was saying how easy this boss was. Oh no, I can't reach him. Move! Damn it, Rongo Lango. Let's try to go this way around then. Okay. Can I get two hits? No. I think he's nearly dead, judging by that health bar. I wonder if that stops him from turning. No. Again, not quite far enough. I probably need to be about there then. I missed my chance now. You're a weird dinosaur. Weird dinosaur's dead. Just you wait, I won't forget this. Hey, something fell. The pendant? A very flat textured pendant. The diva left face and the moon shaped pendant. Let's ask Grandpa about this. Sure. Why is it like he's got soup in his pipe? You've really done it this time. You found the super flat, shaded, textured pendant. It's the crest of the Moon Kingdom. The Moon Kingdom? A mystical kingdom spoken of only in legend. What about that guy in the tower? What about the weird Pokemon trainer slash dog man? That's right. Hey Grandpa, is there really a Moon Kingdom? Perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. I don't know why they came to ask this guy anything, he doesn't seem to know a lot. Either way, this is far too much for us to handle. Kulanoa, go to Fort Lock Forest and tell Granny about this. She might know more than me. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. So let's go to the next level. The loadings are pretty fast on this at least.
There we go, and we got all the little people for that one too. And that is the first island complete. This is a very Yoshi's story style like chapter choosing thing. Okay. I didn't realise I could skip that. I would have been there a long time. Looks like I missed a few of the gems on that one as well. Uh, let's have a look in options and see whether there's anything new that we can change for this. Pixel filter. I wonder what that does. Oh, okay. Does that... That's not how the original looked, surely. That's, that's overdoing it. Let's see what it's like in-game, but I'm sure that's not how the original looked. <laughs> They've literally just put a really low-resolution filter over the entire game. That is not how the original looked. Look at the dithering in the background there, that's weird. Why would that be an option? And it doesn't help the frame rates at all. That's so weird. And the menu is not pixelated. There you go, that looks a lot better. Maybe it helps a little bit with the frame rate. Let's see what other options there are. Tutorial. Oh, you could turn the tutorial off. Display clear time. Is that how long I've been playing? I haven't been playing this stage for 11 minutes, I'm not sure what that means. Why is it saying 11 minutes? Oh, it's counting... It's counting up as well. So it's not really got anything to do with... It's not got anything to do with getting a certain rank on the stage or anything. Anyone know what that time is for? Oh, I nearly fell off then. I'm not sure what I rescued then, it didn't seem like there was an animal in that one. If the timer didn't change when I picked that up either. Leaves. These platforms sway in the wind. Oh, really? I didn't notice. Okay, there's something over there. Oh, maybe I need to go that way first. I almost missed out on getting that egg then. Let's go down here first. Come back. That's two. That one was a normal character to save, so I'm not sure what was in the first one. And, ah, okay. Now he's going to get me lots of gems by smashing that one open. There we go. Got a lot for doing that. And now let's see what's on the inside. I like the way the music changes when you go inside as well. A nice lot of attention to detail. Find keys to open locked doors. You won't be able to open the doors without a key. Find the key and run into the door to open it. Let's see if I can time this properly. To do two jumps at once, if that's the right way of doing it. Let's go... No. No. Maybe I'm supposed to try and grab him from there. I'm not sure what to do there. Seems to be dropping down too fast. Wait, was there actually anything to pick up there? Oh, I don't know how to get them. Anyone got any ideas? Um, do I need to go this way or that way? Oh, I need to get the key to go through there. That's what I was saying. Stop! Hmm? Intruder. Wait a second. My grandpa sent me. I'm on the way to see Granny. Surely there's a safer way to get there. Oh, sorry. Strangers wandering around recently. Strangers? Door with picture of key. Need key. 
use this key. Okay. <laughs> one key, one door, forget not. Got it. Farewell. Okay, he was a good guy after all, he gave me the key. Anyway, hurry up. Use the key to unlock important doors. I think I've missed my chance to get that, to get those gems though. Unless... No. As soon as I jump on there, it's going to make me go that way. Let's see what's out this side first. Is this the way I came in, or is this a different way? No, it is a different way. Okay. So there is some stuff I can get up here. So I've got to try and use that to throw it at that without trying to go ahead. So there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think that's that's all you can do here, really. And if you drop down there, it's going to set you back up to go back in that door. Uh, although that will bring the enemy back here. Or half bring the enemy back. Right, I can go around this way and pick him up. And come back again. And... Yeah, I did it. That's what you meant to do. So I think I've got everything so far. Now that enemy appeared again. I wonder if that was a glitch. Well, anyway, I can go through this door that I've got the key for now. So let's carry on through here. I think I did everything right in that stage. So you can see how the levels are sort of little puzzle areas for each different uh, area in the game, which is a really neat feature. A nice way of structuring the stages, making them a bit more interesting. Uh, let's see what's in here. Sometimes I do get a bit worried about going too far ahead though, in case I missed a path further back that I could have gone through. Like, um, this is straying quite far from where I was earlier. And there's another egg over there that I can try and smash, so... Let's try and get him and use him to break that egg open. It's hard to judge the distance, though, like, whether you're at the right angle or not for it. Yeah, there we go, got it. And now there is one more puzzle piece to find. I wonder whether you can jump there and end up on the other part of the stage. Is that in the foreground or background? Oh, it's on the same level. There we go, now we've got another key. For that door. Again, I feel like I'm missing something. I think once you go out of the tree though, you basically have free reign to go out and back in wherever you want. Maybe. Although I've reached the checkpoint, so maybe not. Let's see which puzzle piece that opens. Oh, maybe maybe I am going the right way then, because I haven't missed anything. At least not from that puzzle piece. Can I hit him from there? Oh, that's... That's not right, that went sideways then. I'm going to try and do that again. Although, it looks like you can go around there, so I shouldn't be too worried about it. But yeah, just in case. Oh, it's the double gem thing, of course. I think I've missed out on all those double gems now then. Whoops. There's the last puzzle piece. Oh, they're fairies in this one, that's why they're a lot different. Or they're the, the forest guardians. Is what they call them in the game. And I think I just got another life to get in 100. I wonder if it tells you how many you've got in the stage itself. Uh, no, it's just reset. It'd be good if there was some sort of counter to see whether you were actually getting more, but maybe you don't get anything for collecting all the gems in the stages anyway, so maybe it's not that important see who this guy is. Are you thinking of going beyond here? Uh, that's our plan. No can do, the fairy tree is withered so you can't get any further. You mean we're stuck here? 
Hey, who are you anyways? I'm a soldier from Jug Park, the Water Kingdom. I was on an official mission to seek f four locks, Granny. Okay. But it looks like I'm stuck here now. So, did something happen in Jug Park? That's a matter of the kingdom. I like the name Jug Park. Granny could restore the king. Nothing, never mind. It's not safe out here for little kids. You should go home. Something's strange. I'm just going to check to see whether the game's actually recording because. Yep, yeah, seems to be doing fine. One of the things that I'm planning to do with these streams, and this Klonoa stream in particular, is uh, to actually record the games at the same time as doing the stream for the video so I've got like the clear audio straight out of the capture out of the capture card at the same time as streaming it on Twitch too so thanks for watching but also I'll be doing this whether anyone watches or not because it'll be part of the upcoming videos so I thought it was just a good extra thing to do at the same time and it means that I'm more focused on the game rather than playing the games over there and listening to a podcast at the same time or only half paying attention to it. Complete, complete, complete. Okay, now the next one. It's weird that it says complete next to the characters and not complete next to the bit where you go into the stage. That kind of threw me off a bit then. Beyond the backwards waterfall. Onto the planet of Jug Park. Where was I going? Nowhere. I love how bright the colours are, even in like a drab desert area like this. It still looks really nice. So press right to speed up and left to slow down. Okay. There's quite a lot of um, little... Oh no, maybe I should start this level again. I've missed that bit. I'm going to start over. If it won't let me. I shouldn't have gone over there just yet. Wahoo! Yeah, a lot of the levels in these games introduce like little new elements like that. Like going across the water there. So it's always fun to see where you're going to end up next and what's going to happen when you get there. Especially in the GBA games, there's some really interesting mini stages. Maybe if I enjoy playing this and playing Clone Wars 2 on this collection, I might go and play some of the older games for you guys as well, if you'd be interested in seeing those live. I've got the GameCube plugged in back there with the Game Boy Player, so I could play some GBA games on stream at some point. That might be fun. Let's go to the castle. Well, you can use the analog stick as well as the D-pad. Uh, is there anything I can throw out there now? There's that, but I'm not sure whether that's the right way to do it. It looks like you can go there anyway, so I'll just... I'll just go there the normal way. That was, I know that was a bit of a... A bit of a speedrun tactic, using the enemy to get hit and then just running past them. I'm quite surprised I like the Kalinoa games because they are quite slow paced compared to the kind of platformers that I generally enjoy but I love the graphics and the style of these games and the level designs are interesting too. There we go, I think I've done everything outside. Hey, there's someone new in the chat. Hey MGX. Hey MGX. Hey MGX. How are you? Thanks for joining the stream. Have you ever played Klonoa before? Oh, I shouldn't have gone that way. 
I didn't know whether that was going to take me somewhere else or whether that was a bottomless pit. Ah, uh, 90s platform design. What's safe to jump down and what won't just kill you instantly? Am I supposed to try and kill him? Is that taunting me for some reason? He doesn't seem to be doing anything interesting. Looks like I can grab him and go back. I think I'm taking a lot of... Oh, is that why I need him? Because I can't get through the other side otherwise. Let's see, can I bring him under here? Ah, let go. Oh, okay, I'm not getting hurt by that, it's just pushing me. I like how you can squish... Oh no, I dropped it. Happy I'm able to catch the stream. Uh, haven't played this before, but I've heard a lot about this on Twitter. Yeah, there's a lot of people on Twitter getting very excited about this collection. And for good reason, because they're really fun games. So, I can use that to get up there. So, the idea is, like you just saw there, you can pick the enemies up and then throw them. And you can use that to solve the platforming puzzles. Like there, you can use it to get higher. You can throw them forward and backwards. Uh, okay, so you've got to come back in from outside to go there. And MGX as well. Um, I do have... I've got them here. I keep showing them off, but... I've got all the other games in the series as well. There's actually quite a lot of them. And I plan to do a big video retrospective on the series at some point in the future. So, look forward to that on YouTube whenever I get around to doing that. I might try and stream the games as I'm playing them. So, um, so yeah. So I can show you some of the older games in the series at some point. That'd be fun to play. And see what you guys think of them. Although I say play some of the older games, but technically this is the first game in the series. And they pretty much knocked it out of the park right from the first game, honestly. Like, there's not really that much different in this game compared to the later ones. Which just goes to show that even right from the start, it was a really good design. I'm not sure if... Yeah, that is a gem to pick up. I should have tried to get that one first. I think that was giving me extra points then. But yeah, like I was saying, they nailed the idea of the game right from the start. Hey, Pastor Plunger, good to see you on here. I'm enjoying it so far. Like, the frame rate isn't perfect, but I do love these games. So I'm more than happy to play through it again. Again, again, again. I've played Colonel 1 so many times on the PS1 and on the Wii. Yeah, great to see me on Twitch. I'm enjoying it, actually. I keep picking these up. I should have put them in the background, but there's all the other Clano games, if you saw them on Twitter earlier. Yeah, I've... I know I need to get back to doing my podcast as well. I've basically... Once I got this house, and once I got the setup, I was really excited to do all these ideas that I'd had in the flat, but never really had the space or the desire to do them. And now I want to do a podcast, I want to do Twitch streams, I want to do YouTube videos. You know, I basically want to do everything. I want to get back into writing more blogs as well. I've been really enjoying writing on there recently. And... Oh, no. There was a switch patch. I don't know what the patch did. Yeah, well, it asked me to update it before I went live, but I don't know how bad it was before or if, if it was worse than this. But, I mean, it's not terrible. It's still playable. But it is a bit disappointing, especially considering the Wii version of the game ran smoothly. Wait. Ah. Uh, need unlimited time. Yep. It runs better now than the Japanese demo. Yeah, I heard people say the demo was bad, but because I was going to get the game anyway, because I already had it pre-ordered, um, I didn't really bother trying the demo. Because, uh, yeah, I knew I wanted the game anyway, so there's no point. Okay, I've got to be a bit more careful here this time. Got it. And if you've only just joined, the idea is that you find those hidden characters in those golden orbs there, and then you can get the jigsaw pieces, which you can use to 100% the game. Basically, each level has six different characters to save, and you fill in the jigsaw puzzle as you're saving them. 
and you can pick these gems up here. And just like Mario or Sonic or anything like that, once you pick a hundred up, you get extra life. And um, Namco hasn't been soft with this remake, uh, so basically there aren't unlimited lives, unlike some, unlike some games recently, like Sonic. And if this bit looks a bit weird, that's because you can use left and right to speed up and slow down. So. If you want to try and get all these, you want to try and time it well, like that. So I managed to pick all them up. And these big enemies, if you kill them, then you get a lot more uh, orbs out of them. So you get all the, or gems, you get all those gems. Instead of just one. And I'm not sure how you meant to get up there. I wonder whether I can pick the big one up. There's something about... I don't remember how to do it, but there's something to do with being able to jump on top of them. Um, it might be if you picked up a smaller enemy first. Or you can use them to bounce off, so let's try... No, that didn't work. Anyone remember what to do there? I read your new blog post yesterday. Best of luck with the new work adventure. Oh, thank you! I thought I should write something up, because that's like quite a big event in life. And I didn't really care whether anyone was actually going to read it or not, that was just for me to look back on in the future. But it was really cool to see the reaction it got on Twitter. So that was really nice to know that people care about just everyday stuff like that. So yeah, thanks, I appreciate that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I need to go up there somehow. I only ever played the demo of this back in the day. Yeah, I was I was lucky to, to have a full game. Someone actually bought it for me for my birthday one year. And it quickly became one of my favourite platformers. I don't know how to get over there. I've got to use that big one somehow. Um, I think there was something to explain uh, what to do with the giant enemies. It might be under gimmicks. Oh, giant move. Throw enemies at these to defeat them. You can also inflate enemies by hitting them with a wind bullet and hitch a ride on their heads. What is a wind bullet? That's the only attack I've got. What is a wind bullet? You've also got the... I went to get it a while back on the PS1 version, it's pricey. I've also got it on the PS Classic. Yeah, that's a good way of playing it, I guess. As long as you've uh, hacked it to run in 60 hertz properly. Because the PlayStation Classic had a really weird thing where it had the 50 hertz version of the games. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of weird things with that PS Classic. I don't know what a wind bullet is, how am I supposed to jump on it? Oh! Just like that, okay. So I just have to keep hitting him. Let's wait for him to come back over then. Yeah, PlayStation Classic was, was weird. There was a lot of weird problems with it. Uh, okay, right. So this is about timing then. So wait for him to go this way. Stun him like that, and then pick this guy up. Then jump on his head, and then jump up there. Clever. That's what I mean about the game being more about puzzles than than action. And I really like that. There's some really interesting level design, especially later on. Yeah, you got it hacked, of course. It's a nice little system. It's weird that the companies have kind of stopped doing the mini consoles now. Uh, well, actually, Sega's doing another one, aren't they? They're doing the Mega Drive Mini 2, but that's only coming out in Japan. And they said they were considering doing a Dreamcast one, but it would be too difficult for them to make. Or they considered doing a Saturn one, but it would be too difficult or something. Oh no, I messed that up. Which I can understand, because it's very difficult to emulate that. Damn, I missed up there. Um, that question could have been asked already. You play Klonoa on which platform? This is on the Switch. There it is. 
uh, not the PS Classic, but I do have one of them as well, the Vita TV. Oh, cool. I never really used the Vita TV. I did have one, but I kept getting annoyed because whenever I tried to play a Vita game on it, it was saying that it wasn't compatible or there's only certain ones that you can use. And then using the same controller as the PlayStation, I had to keep unplugging it and plugging it back in and stuff, which was a bit frustrating. Uh, fire a wind bullet or throw an enemy onto a switch and see what happens. I've never used A to throw them. That was that was throwing me off then. Switch nice as a physical release. Also nice. Yeah, apparently this, this version here only came out in Europe though. There it's not a physical release in America for some reason. Which I don't really understand. Unfortunately there's nothing on the inside, so there's no manual. There is a little welcome booklet with a code to get some money off on the website, but it'd be nice if they put something else into it. Uh, what you say? You had to hack it to allow all the games to run. Didn't know the US didn't get a cart version. No, I didn't know earlier until I put it on Twitter and people were getting upset that they didn't get it. So I don't know why Namco decided not to release it physically in America. Um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you'd think that America liked Klonoa just as much as the UK, right? Or... I've got it, I know why they didn't release it. It's because they didn't want to change the artwork, and Americans can only handle games with the eyebrows facing down, can't they? That's it. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> but yeah, America has some digital deluxe version instead, so I don't know what extra comes with that compared to the normal one. But yeah, Kalino is too cheery for America. They can't make him look angry, therefore they can't sell it. That explains everything. I am the king of the castle. And you're that brat, the mighty... I keep trying to say... Gl uh, glad... Gahadus? Gad Gadhus? I knew he was involved. I keep thinking Gradius. I'll put you into your place. Your time is up. I have to say, I'd never heard of this series before. I wonder if I just missed it as a kid. Yeah, I've heard of a few people who actually said they've never heard of Klonoa before, and I find that really strange, but I guess if you're not into obscure games or, or things like that, you might not have heard of it, but I remember hearing about it back in the day in magazines and things. Um, especially when the GBA one came out, that was everywhere at the time. So I'm, I'm quite surprised to hear that a lot of people didn't know about the series, but maybe it's not that popular in America. what to do here. So, I need to wait for him to come to the front and then hold on to him long enough to throw him like that when he's going to the side. Let's try that. Yeah, and most of the games, I think there was only two games that didn't come out outside of Japan. That was the game for the Wonder Swan, obviously, Moonlight Museum. As the Wonder Swan never came out outside of Japan, and Kalinoa Heroes on the GBA, which was a, actually an RPG, surprisingly, not a platformer. Oh, okay. Don't hit the bubbles, but you can pop the bubbles. Oh, I'm nearly dead. I didn't look at my health. So he's riding on that way. This is a pretty difficult boss considering it's still the first world. Oh no, I'm gonna die. It's because I'm trying to look at chat at the same time and it's on the way up the side of the screen. Okay, where's he going this time? Over here. So, oh yeah, that was a good jump. Now I've got to hold on to him and dodge the bubbles and the spike balls. Yeah, got him. Right, two more hits, I think. I need someone to read the comments out to me while I'm playing. I can't concentrate on that at the same time. Yes, got him. Yeah, did it. With half a hit, half a bit of health left. Clonoa even got a physical release on the Xbox in the EU. I didn't know it came out on the Xbox too. That's that is very surprising. I wonder if that version will be expensive in the future, because I doubt there's that many Xbox players that want to buy something like Clonoa. Considering it's never been on an Xbox system before. 
and Reanimator said, I've only heard of Chronoa because of Jeremy Parrish's video on it a couple of years ago when I played the first GBA game and loved it. That's cool. I think I remember watching that video as well. I wonder if they've done a Retronauts episode on it. I'll have a look while it's, while it's going through that. I was listening to Retronauts earlier in the car, actually. <laughs> they've just released a new episode all about Metal Slug, which is an awesome game series. What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, they have done an episode on Clonera. Episode 39 in May 2016. So I might go and listen to that later and see what they think. Xbox version is kind of weird. I think I'd go for it. Xbox One. We'll see. Well, that's probably the one that will hold its value the most. I do find it weird, though. Actually, I just realised I've got the second one here on the GBA as well, but I've never actually played it before. It's always just been sitting on the shelf. And, oh, uh, well done me, I put the wrong game in the box, I always keep doing that. Look what was in there instead, F-Zero. F-Zero Climax, which is another really hard to find game. But... It's got a nice little full colour instruction manual in there. I want to get the European version at some point, I haven't got the Japanese one. Oh, you were listening to the Retronauts episode earlier as well, that's cool. Uh, I didn't listen to that much of it, I think I'm only about half an hour in, but I'll go back and finish listening to it later. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry that you didn't notice. I love Retronauts, especially recently, so now they've got all the different guests on, it's, it's really fun to listen to again. I'm on their Patreon as well, so usually I listen to them in advance, but I just saw this Metal Slug one pop up today. I listened to their Kirby one the other day as well, I don't know whether that one's been released yet. That was really interesting. Uh, wow, there's another one in this world. I thought we were done then. Okay. Vision 3 one. Not sure where this one's going. I think we're going back to the tree again. I kind of wasn't paying any attention to that cutscene then. I have to head out, but I hope you have a great rest of your stream. Thank you. No worries. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed what you managed to catch. And yeah, I'll be doing a video about Planoa in the future, so look forward to that as well. But thanks for coming along. Hopefully I can see you again at some point. Where am I going now? I wasn't paying attention to any of that. Back into the forest. Forlock the tree village. Time you jump just right with B, and Klonoa can jump way higher than usual. Whee. I might turn that timer off. I just realised what it's doing. It's actually just telling me how long I've been playing for. Let's see what other options we got. We got sound. Just adjust the volume. Nice little pixel sprites at the bottom there. And control types. Don't know why you'd want to change that. Difficulty, vibration. The really stupid pixel filter. That just puts a really weird contrasty grain over everything. Which just looks weird. It'd be cool if they used the same... Um, if they use the same models as the PS1 game for that for that version. Am I missing something? Maybe I have to come back here, but I haven't got anything to throw on them boxes yet. Yeah, that pixel filter is really weird. Like, have a look at what it does. Look at the fence, like in the corner there. It's it's like it's the same resolution, but they're just like smudging everything together. And the, the trees in the background are all just weirdly coloured pixels. I don't know why you'd want to play it like this. It doesn't look anything like the PS1 game. It's like the... That's got to be one of the weirdest filters that I've ever seen. I don't know what they were thinking of that. Oh, okay. So I didn't need to go anywhere. I just had to stay there. And then the enemies would peek over the fence at me. Okay. And there's one of the forest guardians in that tent. There, there was an attempt. Gold Star, you tried. 
Namco. Well done. It's like they just went into Photoshop and picked one of the ugliest filters and just said, yeah, that'll do. Just pick a filter called Pixelate and then just apply it to everything. Save, many thanks, you're welcome. I just had a thought as well after listening to that Retronauts episode. I want to play I want to play Metal Slug on the stream. I really love them games. And there's a Metal Slug Tactics game coming out soon, which I did not expect. So I might be interested in playing that in the future. There we go, now we've got the lift working. Oh no, Joker, or Joker. That annoying brat again. This leaves me no choice. Metal Slug Tactics looks great. Yeah, it does, and wow, the, the animation and the artwork on that original trailer that came out, it looks incredible. Like, they've done a fantastic job with it. But I don't know how I feel about a slow-paced Metal Slug game. It just doesn't feel right. But maybe it'll be fun. I think they've got an interesting set of weapons that they can use in a tactics style arena. So I'm kind of looking forward to it in a weird way. But it'd be nice if they did another like traditional Metal Slug game as well at the same time. That'd be fun. But yeah, I really want to play the Metal Slug series again. I want to be able to play through all the games. I used to be able to play all the way through the first one without dying, but that was a long time ago. I went on holiday once, I think it was in France, and they had um, a Metal Slug arcade cabinet, or one of the Neo Geo cabinets, and I literally went back to that like playroom bit and played it every single day for hours while we were on holiday. I wasn't interested in going anywhere else, I wasn't interested in any of the activities going on. All I wanted to do was play Metal Slug. I just fell in love with it. And that was probably not long after the game came out. It came out in 96. And we were probably there in like 97 or 98 or something. So yeah, OG Metal Slug fan here. I never played any of the later ones in the arcade though. I only played them on uh, on consoles. Obviously the, the Wii collection was really good. And that actually got me interested in learning more about game design as well, because they mentioned on that collection how they changed the design of the bullets, so that you can see. Um, I didn't know that the pair of blues do something if you make it to the end without dying. Yeah, that's how you rescue people. Because if you don't, then it just cancels out, but you get, you get like their names and you get all the bonus points and things. Try throwing enemies down below. When you grab an enemy and double jump, you can also throw them below you. When you double jump, you can throw an enemy. How could you have got this far in the game and not known that already? These tutorials are just weird. Like, you'd find that out by accident at this point. I hate tutorials in games, especially when it's obvious things like that. Like some of the later Mega Man games. Completely like... Mega Man is supposed to be like a hardcore series and you expect people not to know how to jump. It never made any sense to me. I don't have anything to attack these guys. If I remember right, this game is not that long actually, so I don't really know how many more levels there are. I remember being quite surprised at how short the first one of the game is. But the second one's a lot longer from what I remember. But it plays more or less the same. Oh, I missed a follower 15 minutes ago. Thank you to Arquez Martin. I believe I pronounced that right. Thank you. Hopefully it popped up on the bottom of the screen. I did get it set up yesterday, so it should notify people when someone follows. So hopefully that's working. I haven't really got a good way of seeing it yet, because my other screen's like down there in the corner. So that's why I have to keep looking around the side. 
I need to get something to put it next to where I'm looking. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get it there. Come here! sure what was the point of giving me that other one there as well. Right, is this another case of me having to inflate him and jump on his head? Maybe that's how you get over there. And... I need to find... Uh, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to do that over here and then pick that bird up. Come on. Wake up. This way a bit. And then I can pick this up, use it to break open this guy's armor. Or go down there? No, break his armor open. And then use one of them to go up here to get these extras. And then use the other one to break open that box. There we go, figured it out. Oh, there wasn't anything interesting in the box anyway. But there is the key over here. Oh, this must have been the right way to go anyway then. Kind of weird level designs where you're not entirely sure if you're going the right way or not. Now I need to go back over here and get that bird again. Come on, go over here. I'm really enjoying playing this game again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching. I know it's not as fast-paced as Sonic was, which is what I was playing last. But yeah, hopefully you're having a good time anyway. Hopefully you can see why this game is loved by so many people. Because there, re there really isn't any other platforms like it, even to this day. Oh, I suppose I'm supposed to grab him out of the tree. And use him for something. There's nothing higher up. Not sure what the point of that was. Is there something special that I'm missing there? Is there an egg on the floor? Let's see. It did say earlier, look for shadow. Look for the shadows of eggs. If there's one hiding somewhere. But I can't see one. Let's just carry on. Hey, now we've gotten into the screen section. With some really upbeat music, which doesn't really fit the theme of being inside a cave. Oh, I thought I'd missed him then. That's one of the fairies that gives the gems double the points. Oh, I missed one. It's kind of hard to judge the distance here. This would be good on the 3DS in 3D. I'm kind of sad that 3D gaming pretty much died off. Oh, it made me want a Klonoa port for the 3DS now. Oh, it still says on my stream that I'm playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. What does it say for you guys? Does it say I'm playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or does it say I'm playing Klonoa? So I thought I changed it, but... Looking on the bottom of the screen now, it's still saying Sonic. What's it say? Not sure which way I'm meant to go here now. I'm guessing either way. Let's try around here. Is this like some secret back access? And yeah. Oh, I didn't need to jump there. Yeah, the, the game switches from 2D to 3D quite a lot, depending on where you stood in the level. Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get there. 
well, I think. There you go, so you can see if you're stood on that bit of the floor, then the camera spins round, which is, which is really cool. And then now you'll be on a different plane, going in a different direction. It's a really interesting way to... Oh, that's how you got in there, never mind. I should have waited. Yeah, there's an egg in there. I think I've missed... Oh, I missed two. Well, I didn't think I've missed two already. I don't know whether I can be bothered to go back, though. So, if I missed two, that means that the things on the left there, you're supposed to pick up the... Uh, the characters that are lost in the sages. It's a dead end. Mm. Who are you? Check goodbye. Don't worry. Only four luck greeting. Oh, I see. You want to go to Granny's place? What? You're after Granny too? Uh, taken over. Kicked out. We were very frustrated. I like the fact that you can speed up the cutscenes because I do find them a bit slow. Oh, it's a shame I didn't find all of the things there. Only got four of them. But... Never mind. It's hard to tell which ones you've finished and which ones you haven't. Like, it's saying complete there in the middle, but I think it's actually referring to this one here. Even though it's saying complete, like, up there to the left of it, which is weird. Uh, anyway, let's move on to 3-2. But yeah, I love this sort of 2.5D twisting camera mechanics. The GBA games obviously didn't have anything like this, but they still play exactly the same. Oh, what a ride. Oh, okay. He's too heavy for that. Maybe you're not actually supposed to hit that X there. And then that button started this. Yep. Uh, okay. Didn't go very far. Oh, I was just supposed to keep waiting for it. Hopefully it goes round in a circle, because I wasn't exactly sure what I was supposed to do then. Let's keep going. Let's get off. I'll just go round every stop like this. Let's get off at the first one. And... Sometimes the levels are a little bit confusing like this. There's a lot of different paths you can take back and forth. <clears throat> and there's no map or anything. So you do just have to kind of remember where you are. There's no enemies in this level so far, which is a bit strange. Looks like you have to get to them from above. So we'll come back to that. Uh, someone mentioned my podcast earlier. I really should record another episode. It's been two weeks now since I did that radio episode. I really enjoyed doing that one. I got to talk about some of my favourite game composers and get some music in there as well. And because it's uh, because it's not on YouTube, I didn't need to worry about it being demonetized. Well, at least it's not on my channel, but I can get money off. But yeah, this year I just wanted to experiment a bit more. Like that's why I'm doing Twitch as well. Just see what I enjoy, see what I, see what I'll stick, see what I want to keep doing in the future. Yeah, I'll definitely be happy doing more streams. I used to do Let's Plays all the time, so it kind of feels like doing them. Except there's people to talk to at the same time, which is cool. But, yeah, it took me a long time to decide whether I wanted to or not. Because I felt like it would take up too much time, but... If I'm going to play the games anyway, for videos, then it doesn't really make any difference. Because I'm recording this while I'm streaming. So all this is just extra. 
Uh, again, I wasted it. I don't know whether I'm actually progressing the right way in this level or not. There's a load of different doors in this one. Let's go and pick an enemy up to get back through there. If I can. I don't know, maybe I can't reach. Uh, no, I don't think I can get back up that way. Never mind. Let's see what's in here. Uh, don't know where I am. Let's try through this door. Have I been here? Oh yeah, that's back here again. Except I went right last time, not left. So let's try the next door up. Let's try further this way. Oh, I can pick him up and use him as a as a platform. That worked. Oh, there's an egg up there too. Uh, not sure if throwing this guy will actually work with the eggs. Because those exploding ones drop down a lot faster. Let's try it like this. Maybe I need to come back here and pick up one of those enemies that you can just throw straight ahead. Uh, there's another egg there as well. Maybe I can bring him inside and use it there. Let's see if it keeps holding it. Yeah, it does. Okay, we can do that. And maybe I'm going the right way, because that was the second one. Uh, hopefully this cutscene won't stop me progressing. You are ready? You're too late. He's locking me out. Oh no. I thought it was safe standing right on the edge there, because on the last one, he gave you a little bit of leeway. This one stops in the middle. Watch out, weird fat bomb thing. Okay, maybe I'm going the right way, because that's three. Oh, hidden egg. Um. What, what was I trying to do with a regular enemy back there? Maybe I should take one with me. Hey, there's a keyhole. Is that where that guy was? Yeah, he just ran over that bridge there, didn't he? Let's see if I can take this with me. If that doesn't blow up. So, hopefully I can take this all the way back without losing it. Oh, where is it? I need to do it twice. Oh, I need to do it twice. Let's see. Yeah, I can't get close enough to throw it there. Let's try get going this way around, see whether the egg stays. Okay, so again. Here. I think this is the the other way out. I think. This should take me on the top of where I just was. Maybe? Am I lost? Oh no! I think I'm going the right way anyway. Oh, it's restarted me here anyway. Oh, I can use. I can do it this way. I didn't think about doing this. Oh no, I can't quite make it in time. I just need to get up here. Uh, I don't think I can get up there from jumping. They put that in a really awkward place. Oh, I can. Yes. Right. So. Okay, that didn't work. I was hoping I'd be able to throw it through the vines there. I do need to do it twice. Let's 
so let's do it once to make it appear. Oh, I don't think I went high enough up there. I think the camera didn't know what to do with itself there then. So, yeah, the egg's showing now. So now I need to try and do that awkward jump here again. That's it. And then bring him back over this way and throw him at the egg. Yay, there we go. What did I get? A gold coin. Don't really know what they do. I was hoping it would be one of the people to rescue, but I just remembered they come out of a different bubble thing, don't they? But let's see whether it tells me what the coins are. Uh, rare item? Is it just a rare item? doesn't really have anything to do with the coins there. Invisible eggs, mysterious seals, locked doors. Spoilers, I haven't seen disappearing platforms yet. Oh, it's a one-up. That's all. That's not very exciting. Oh, that egg's come back now. Give me those gems. But that one hasn't. That's weird. No, nope, it's not there at all. Wonder why that one that one came back. And that one did. Oh, it's because it wasn't an egg there, was it? It was one of the things to rescue. Anything over there? Nope. Let's carry on. I wasn't even paying attention to how much health I had. Uh I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this stage. Which way should I go? Where do I need to go? Is he going to explode? Did that even do anything? Nope. Let's go back this way. I think I almost jumped on the platform above them. I wonder if that's possible. Uh, okay, that opened the door. I think I could have done that without blowing myself up. Oh, it's a timed one, okay. That's why there's these explosive ones. Just save myself there. So, throw it there and wait for him to blow up. Yeah, clever. Want the key? Come and get it. You know, if you can. <laughs> of course I can. I'm Retro Break. Don't you know who I am? Uh, ignore that. Nearly. This is a awkward technique where you have to jump off two at once. Okay, maybe that is the only way you can get it back. Oh no, you actually made it? Then you gotta fly. I, thought, I didn't even see what happened then. He just freaked out and hit himself and dropped the key. I do not understand what just happened. <laughs> no. Do you remember seeing anywhere with the key? With the keyhole? It's not that way. It's probably back somewhere in the middle of the stage where that conveyor belt thing is. It's a... Not that way, there's nothing over there. Is it back here? There it is. Oh yeah, of course, it's where he ran out of just now. I'm still missing two of the forest guardians, though. Be sure to flip the three switches in the right order. Pay attention to the sounds they make. Ding. Ding. Don't. 
what, what am I supposed to be playing? I can hear the sounds. I don't know what you're trying to get me to do. Dun dun dun. I'll just go up in pitch. That should have been obvious, really. Oh, that thing I saw earlier does move. Weird that it didn't show any stuff up there, because I know there was things up there from earlier. Has anyone else got the, the new Klonoa game today? I wonder if there's many people streaming it. I think it was straight through here, actually. Where was it? Through there, maybe? I can't figure my way around this level. Here it is. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, see all these things that were in the level? All these gems and stuff? They weren't in that cutscene just then. I do really love what they did with the 3D, 2D gameplay. It looks really cool. Even today it's still quite unique. There's not that many games that are 2.5D that do this much camera movement. Like if you play a modern 2.5D game like, I don't know, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Like it has some bits like this, but it's not as extreme with it. So I do like that. And I better rush here to pick all these gems up because they're worth double points. Ah, uh, I think I got all of them. And there's a one-up coin. Oh no, I just used a one-up before I got to the coin. Uh, blocks water. Nice. Didn't know you had Twitch. Uh, also, I think you might have gotten a package today with a homebrew I made. I sent it a while ago. I do actually, and it's on the desk right next to me. I'll show you in a second once we've got past this section. Um, yeah, I'd forgot all about it, to be completely honest, and it, it turned up earlier, and I thought it was Klonoa, and I opened it. I was really confused. That's not Klonoa, that's another homebrew game. I think I'd be more excited about getting another homebrew game, though. I've eventually got it right here. There it is, Luda OS. I was reading a little bit about it earlier, so thanks a lot for sending it over. I really appreciate that. I'm going to give it a go after this. There's the cartridge. I haven't taken it out yet. But, yeah, really cool, so thank you so much. I've got my analogue pocket right here to try it in. Actually, let's see whether it works, because not all of the homebrew games work on the pocket. So, sorry anyone who was here to see Klonoa, but I just want to try this. And take a break for a second so I can have a drink too. But thanks for stopping by anyway, I appreciate that. Uh, maybe not. It's just saying error. But let's try. Let's try again. I just realised the label on the cart's shiny. That's a nice little detail. No, unfortunately, it's not working on there. I have to get my Game Boy out later and try it. It definitely does work on the pocket. It's not working on this one. Let's try another time. Sometimes it's a bit. picky. No, can't get past that screen. Unless it's just the pocket being weird. Maybe I'm blowing on it too much. No. Didn't test that cart. Maybe, from what I could tell, I've tried to test all the homebrew games. It depends where the PCBs come from. Like there was, there was a certain batch from AliExpress that didn't work on there. But don't worry, I've got other ways of playing it. Hopefully it works okay on the Game Boy. Well, well that seems good. Let's find out I've got an XP here. Oh my god, we found Granny, finally. 
Yeah, it works fine on that. There you go. Whoa, eight kilobytes of RAM. Bluetooth phone OS. I shouldn't be playing this, I should be playing Kaloro, but... Yeah, it's really cool what, what you did. So for anyone who's watching, if you want to know what it is, it's like an operating system for the Game Boy with like some fake files on there and stuff. So yeah, I'll show that off in, a, in an upcoming homebrew video. So thanks for sending that over. Just missed out on going in my video last week. I missed what was going on there. Boss fight time. That's what's happening. Gleg bomb. They have the weirdest names in this game. Oh, I see what you have to do. So you have to use these springs and jump in the air like that and then fire it down. Try now. Yeah, there we go. It's probably just going to keep getting faster and faster. We're going to do something different. Oh no! Scary stuff. And then you, you have to make him land where it's easy enough to attack him from a distance. Now he's getting angrier. <laughs> that actually made it easier. Come and get me. Oh, I'm a bit scared standing that close to it. Oh my god. So this time you have no choice but to use the enemy to jump over it. Oh, there we go. Really easy fight, I didn't even take any damage on that one. Does the stream still say I'm playing Sonic and Knuckles? Uh, what is it actually called? Planoa... Yeah, we rescued Granny. Planoa Fantasy Reverie Series. For some reason it still said Sonic. So hopefully that fixed it. Stream updated. I updated it on Streamlabs, but Twitch still had the wrong title. And, hey, I got another follower. I just missed it whether it uh, popped up in the box or not. So thank you to DGR Dave. Thank you for the follow. It's exciting to see the seeing the followers come up in real time, because on YouTube you don't get that. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to have, you know, the email notifications, but that would get annoying. But it'd be cool if, when you were just browsing through YouTube or something, if you're a creator, that it would just pop up saying that you've got a new subscriber or something. So. I think she's basically saying, watch out for Grandpa because he's got a pendant that the bad guy wants. I found that story most intriguing. Very excited to see your streams, really enjoy your YouTube content. Thank you! I'm excited to start streaming. This is only my fourth one, I think, so I'm still trying to get to grips with everything. I just got this nice overlay made by Risuchu, who I think is on here. So yeah, let, let me know what you'd like me to stream in the future. I'm excited to do them. I know I released a video earlier today, so hopefully people have watched it. I haven't really checked the stats on it yet. Oh, it's not doing very well. It's a 9 out of 10. A lot of comments to go through, though. People, <laughs> people's minds are blown about my setup.
Whoa, there's a very, very um, detailed comment on there. Look at that one. I'll get through to reading that one later. I plan on watching it after work. Yay, thank you. I enjoyed making this week's episode. And I've got a really cool one coming up next week as well, which is a cool um, shop tour that I went on. Oh, okay, we're down here now. Um, has this been running pretty solidly on the Switch so far, waiting for my copy to come in? Well, it's, it's responsive. The frame rate isn't great, but it's not putting me off playing the game. So I think you'll be happy with it. A lot of people have gone crazy about it on Twitter, saying it's unplayable and stuff like that. But I've been streaming for nearly two hours now. I haven't run into any problems. I mean, I think it's running at the full frame rate on Twitch. So, yeah, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So if it looks alright to you, then you'll be happy with it. I'm happy with it. It's not perfect, but just the fact that there's a new Klonoa game that you can play on a modern console is good enough. I mean, it'd be nicer if they did put a little bit more effort into the port, but I can't really complain. And the fact that you've also got Klonoa 2 on here as well, which is... I don't think it's ever been re-released on anything else. Obviously, Klonoa 1 had a port on the on the Wii. A really really nice remake on the Wii, actually. Um, just called Klonoa. Yeah, really, really great um, port of the game. Well, as far as I know, Klonoa 2 hasn't got one. Well, I've actually got all the games here, so I do know that it doesn't have one, because that's every Klonoa game in the series. And there's the Wii one, if you're interested. It's just called Klonoa, and it's actually a really nice... I was about to say HD, not HD, but it's a really nice version of the original game with some really nice graphics and gameplay. So yeah, I think it runs alright on Switch. It is weird, though, that the... Um, the Wii version actually feels a bit more polished than this one. So in some ways it's a bit of a step back, but, you know, companies are a bit lazy these days. I'm gonna take what I'm given. Although I don't think it's fair that the developers were saying, like, if you want a new Clodoa game you should buy this. Obviously, they just want you to buy it, because that's how companies work, but, yeah kind of forcing people to buy things isn't really great, but I, I know they they have to do it like that. Uh, 30 FPS doesn't bother me if it runs steady. Obviously we want 60, but I go into all games not expecting 60. Yeah, true, I don't really expect 60. Like, if you want it to run at 60, there's the option to get it on the PlayStation or the Xbox, but you know, you're buying the Switch game for other reasons, so I understand. It looks really nice though, the the resolution's actually, I think it's full HD, 1080p, it looks like it anyway. I'm not sure where I'm meant to go here. I feel like there's probably a hidden egg somewhere. I think that's taking me back out, so let's carry on up here. I don't think I can take them out, though. No. Okay, I should go down there, because there's an egg hiding behind the windmill. There's a hidden egg. It's going to be difficult trying to keep an enemy through this section. Oh, no. Yeah, because you have to watch out for them firing at you at the same time as well. Uh, no. Oh, no, really? I thought I'd got through that time. Yeah, I got it. There's a one-up. I think I'm doing okay for lives. I can't remember how tough the final boss is, but I think I'm prepared. Let's see, I don't think there's that many levels left, actually. If I remember right, the game's about two or three hours long, so I can probably get it done in one sitting. I've done it before on the PS1, in one sitting. 
So, oh wow, another one up. That was quick. Um, anyone who's just joined the stream, if you ever played the Klonoa games before? Or is this going to be your first look into the series? Have you even heard of it before? Because I've heard some people today saying that they'd never even heard of Klonoa before the remake was announced. Which was quite surprising. Considering he's been one of my favourite game characters for a long time. It's a shame that they don't do more with him, to be honest. I've got to try and I've got to try and find out what cameo appearances he makes in other games for the retrospective. So I might still have to pick up some more games before I can properly make it. He's he probably appears in like some weird Namco sports games or something. I know from my Rocket Knight uh, video, I had to get track and field for the DS because he's an unlockable character in there. I love finding out little things like that, like little cameos that characters have been in in different games. I'm getting the hang of that double jump attack thing. I'm still missing two characters to save, so hopefully I can spot them soon. <clears throat> yeah, the character's recognisable, but I don't think that many people have played the games that he came from, which is the shame, because they're really fun, as you can see, even if they run at a slightly wonky frame rate. The originals don't, but this version does. I thought he was going to go up higher than that. I'm still missing two characters. This level seems weirdly empty, like there's a lot of long stretches where not much is happening. We played a demo of the first game. Yeah, someone earlier said they'd played a demo as well. Probably came with the PlayStation magazine at the time, or bundled with another Namco game maybe. There. Yeah, I got all of them. Oh no, and I just missed that jump. I have 16 lives. I think I'll be okay. Oh, now i got to do this whole section again. At least I don't need to rescue them again. It remembers that. I'm excited to play Klonoa 2. I really love that game. The levels are a lot more interesting than that one. This one's quite basic. But then we're getting the formula down, and for a first game in the series, this is really impressive. That they pretty much nailed everything they wanted to do right from the first game. It'd be interesting to go back to the, the PS1 game again after and see... Uh, I think I missed, missed my chance to go up there, there was probably something else up there. But there you go, that level's finished anyway. I think I got everyone. Yeah, complete. <laughs> Level 4-2, no? <laughs> A low in the wind. Oh. Yeah, so when you're when you're sliding or when anything is moving you, you can press left and right to slow down or speed up, which helps to dodge these traps. So that was pretty good. Oh, the frame rate really took a dive there. Oh, I got the extra life anyway. Wow, okay, yeah, the, uh, the Switch does not like the water levels. The frame rate is tanking here, which is crazy considering this is a game that's 25 years old. Oh my god, why, why is the frame rate so bad on this bit? Yeah, that's that's really bad. Oh my god. And now it's cleared straight up. There must be something to do with the way the water physics work or something, or 
the way the game engine renders it that the Switch doesn't like. That's the first time it's really thrown me off, though. Hey, there are mini versions of the boss that we fought earlier. Oh no, I needed that. Why did that pan so slowly? It wasn't even going very far. That was weird. Oh no! I wasn't paying attention to how much health I had then. Hey, I just saw your email anyway. I'll, I'll try that dot .pocket file later. I can play it on the pocket. No worries. I'm still waiting for the dock to turn up so I can actually make videos using the pocket. It's annoying that analog takes so long to actually ship anything out. Some people are still waiting on their original pocket pre-orders which is insane. Yeah, you finally got past that section. This is a cool level design, having the, the skeleton with the giant creature as part of the stage. How am I supposed to... Oh, am I supposed to do one of those double jumps there to go there? Well, let's get that checkpoint first. And there's an egg down there as well. So... Try going back this way first. Looks like there's also a cave entrance there as well. Right, let's go up here first. See whether we can do the double jump. Let's go up here. I'm worried about my health. Hopefully, there's a heart behind this door. Uh, there was someone to rescue and another one up, so that's good. It was worth going there. No health though. I'm desperately in need of more health. Let's try going down. Maybe there's health down here. In that egg, maybe. Yay! That's what I needed. Full health as well. Excellent. Ah! Ah! No! No, lose it all to that stupid flame throwing enemy. I don't like this enemy. Go. Oh no! I'm going to do it again. What is on the other side, though, anyway? The thing that doubles the gems. Is it even worth trying to get it? Okay. I'm in there, anyway. Was it worth it? I feel like doubling the gems doesn't really do that much. It should, like, quadruple them or something. Now I just have to go back out of the way. It did show there was gems further over somewhere as well. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, that's just the bottom of where I just was, wasn't it? <coughs> and another one up. They're handing one ups out all over the place on this level. There's some more health. Uh, do I need to carry. Oh no. I thought I needed to carry it all the way up there. Okay, I'm presuming this is a secret entrance and not the actual way you're supposed to go in the level because it was harder to get to. Someone else to rescue there. And there, there's one more to find. That was pretty easy. I thought that challenge would be more than just that. Anyway, let's carry on. Check for those 
don't even know what they're supposed to be. Tusks or fingers? Toes, maybe? Why is the loading screen the thing with the smoothest frame rate? It's fine here. I think this is even running in 60. But then as soon as the game starts... Actually, yeah, it's smooth for this whole section. But as soon as there's more stuff going on in the background, the, the frame rate drops dramatically. There's Grandpa. Better watch out, because all the enemies are after him, because he has something. I think I skipped too much then. I like the fact that you can hold R to fast forward. It reminds me of the Street Pass games on the DS. On the 3DS. Should I say? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Bye, Grandpa. Explode, Grandpa. And then steal the moon medal. Ha! <laughs> Look at him. Run. That was pretty funny. Stop. That's close enough. Looks like you're a bit late to the party. Too bad, too bad. Joker! You again. Why isn't this a moon pendant I have here? I'm very curious. Give it back. Mission accomplished. Now to finish you off. Oh no. Whoa. I'll get you. Summon an epic dragon thing called Balladium. Did he just come in for a closer look? Oh, it's the bridge that's moving. Uh, I suppose I'm supposed to hit him in the head. No, oh, throw it into the screen, not sideways. It's cool how it's using the into the screen effect, though. No? Am I supposed to hit the colours on his side, maybe? It's been a long time since I played this. Yeah, that's it, I've got to hit the colours. Cool. I love this idea for a boss fight, using the swing. That's so inventive. Ow. Oh no. I think I'm nearly dead! Oh, I am dead. That's really cool though, I love this fight. This has to be the best one so far. Yeah, yeah, aim for the weak points. I get that now. I've figured that out on my own. So I suppose you can get the bottom ones without jumping. And then you get the top ones by jumping up. I wonder whether you can get both of them at once, because you can get the bottom ones both at once. I'm making it look really easy this time. Now I know what I'm doing. I love this music as well, it's just like something from the Italia games. Yay, there we go, managed to get them both. Vision 4 too clear. That was a cool level. And a nice dramatic explosion at the bottom. Grandpa, I'm here, Klonoa, forgive me. The pendant was stolen. Save your strength, I'm done for. I probably shouldn't fast forward these dramatic scenes. No, Grandpa! His soup and his pipe's going cold. Did you see Granny? Fate won't run its course. Our time together is almost over. But it was wonderful. My great child of the wind. <laughs> How emotional. No, Grandpa. Get the pendant back. That is your destiny. <laughs> okay, that was that was a bit funny and fast forward. I shouldn't have done that. Just 
it's your destiny. No. Instant death. Oh no, I've ruined a sad moment. Wow, that voice actor. Oh, poor Clonoa. I know how you must feel, Clonoa, but we have to get that pendant. It's... Pamela, you can fly? Climb on the back, quick. Okay, we're off. Whee! We're going to the Temple of the Sun to get the pendant back. I'm not sure what the pendant does. But we need it. That's all that matters. Now to level five. Temple of the Sun. I don't think where I can go where you're going with this body. That's all right, thank you. We'll be gone for a while, be careful. Vision 5-1, Temple of the Sun. So this is the Temple of the Sun. Pretty impressive. What took you so long? Looks like they were expecting us. Did you see a bunch of weirdos come this way? Sure did. Check it out. Those four pedestals and orb must be placed on each one to open the door. The orbs have been taken by the followers of Gradius, who said they could do that. They're not skilled in combat and retrieve four orbs. I don't get what they were trying to say there. Like, some weirdos have come here and they've already used the four orbs, and then they don't know where they are now, and now I've got to go and find them. It basically just means that this level split up into four different parts that you need to go through. It looks nice in this version of the game, though. There's some weird filter that they've put over the side of the screen, like a weird lens flare effect. Which I guess looks quite nice. Whenever I see a door, I'm always worried about going through it in case it's not the right way. Okay, that's a lot slower than I thought it would be. Oh, I missed the giant X there. Let's go back. Will it let me? Yep. So I guess that means I can go past there and get the blue thing. Not yet though. At some point I'll be able to go that way. And there's another person to rescue there. Oh, okay, maybe I missed a lot, if that's the one at the bottom. Usually they go in order, but... As this level's designed differently, maybe. Uh, maybe the order doesn't really matter on this one. Okay, there's the first orb. So. Okay. Do this quickly. Oh no! I'm not gonna get any of them. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! I panicked. I didn't get any at all because that thing got away. Damn, never mind. Oh, I got enough to get an extra life anyway. That's cool. Damn, I really messed that up. Okay, and there was going to be some extra ones there as well. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, I need to get them. There's a regular one. 
How am I going to hit that from there? Do I bring it through here? No. Okay, I missed an egg, but there's nothing that important inside them anyway. Now it's gonna get the next orb. Uh, okay, there's there's two. Is there? Is that what it's trying to tell me? There's two in each section. I think so. So. Oh, there isn't anything else down there. I thought maybe you could skip that section out. There's definitely something else going on in the background here. Hello. Flaming Creek. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for joining the stream as well. Ah! I'm not doing very well at the minute. You've joined at a bad time. Oh my god, I couldn't even get over that then. Hey, thanks for coming to check it out. Wow, 80 followers now. I was saying earlier that compared to YouTube, it's cool that Twitch tells you when you get a follower. Yeah, he posted it on Twitter, actually, he brought someone over. I wasn't sure whether anyone would care, so it's nice to know that some people are dropping by. So there should be a green orb and a yellow orb in here. Have you ever played Planoa before? Do you know much about the series? I think I'm near the end of the game though. I've been saying that for a while though. But I played the PlayStation game a lot back in the day. Played Planoa on the PS1. Oh, that's brilliant, you played it as a kid. There's been quite a mixed response of people, some people um, played it, some people had never even heard of it before, before the remake was announced, so it's interesting to, to know that some people played it when they were a kid as well, that's good. I didn't play it as a kid, I played it maybe in my teens. Yeah. But I did go and get all the rest of the games in the series. You probably saw this on Twitter as well. Got all of them Ready for a retrospective video. So, maybe if I enjoyed streaming this one enough, I'll play some of the other ones on stream too. The GBA games are really good. I don't like this anyway. Go away. There we go, let's hook him out, finally. Uh, okay, so you can actually tell where the other gems are, because um, the signs will tell you uh, where, which direction to go. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know when that video is going to happen, because I haven't started recording anything for it yet. And I want to make sure I've done my research, so that I make sure I've covered everything properly. Well, it will definitely happen at some point. I'm looking forward to it. I probably should have tried to do it sooner so I could have released it today in time with the remake coming out, but never mind. I have a lot of other things I also want to do at the same time. Got it. So that should have opened the door on the other side as well. Oh, am I in the background? Okay, that just took me to another switch. That's a different switch than the one I hit earlier. Too many games, too many ideas, too many things I want to make. Uh, it's a never ending challenge to try and juggle everything. Uh, where do I go? I'm doing a little jump to get in there. There we go, and I found someone else. And I got one up. They were weirdly easy jumps. Now, do I get out of the way and let them all walk into the lava? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you do it. Doing one at a time. 
That's pretty funny. Take them all out one after the other. Uh, oh, I don't need to go over there. There we go. So I got the green orb now. And hit another checkpoint. Wonder how well this will sell. Hopefully it sells well. It'd be great to see the series pick back up again. Or, I guess, pick back up for the first time. I don't know whether it was ever really popular. Maybe the original one on the PS1 did okay. I don't really know anything about the sales of the series or whether they were actually popular games or not. I think the GBA ones did fairly well. I remember them being reviewed in the magazines back in the day and they were really positive about them. So I'm sure they got they got a few sales from the GBA games. Oh right, I remember. So the red one there, but I don't want the red one. I want to go down here and get the blue one. Which is where this will take me, hopefully. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the Wii version didn't sell that well. Apparently it sold really badly, which is surprising, because it's kind of like perfect game for the Wii. It has, like, the right aesthetic for Wii games at the time. And the Wii port, or remake, if you want to call it that, looks absolutely amazing. It looks better than this one, honestly. This one's missing a few of the effects that the Wii game had for some reason, which is really weird. Oh, it was hiding in there. I thought they came out the bubbles, not the eggs. Uh, Empire of Dreams is the GBA one. With the bright yellow box. That one. The Wii, the Wii one is just called Planoa. It doesn't have a name, which is kind of strange. But yeah, the Wii game actually has some effects that aren't present on this one. And it runs at a smoother frame rate too, so that is kind of disappointing. The Switch can't even handle what the Wii could handle. Which is weird, but... Obviously, Planoa 2 hasn't ever had a re-release, so it's great that that's included on this collection. Right, I need to take him with me on this side so that I can hit that guy back there and make him lose his shell. Might go back to the Wii, Wii remake on the Wii U. Yeah, do it. It's still a really fun game. Oh no! Oh, I fell in the lava there. Hey, I've got a new follower as well. Thank you, Maskask. I'm butchering all these usernames. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I've got 81 now. I remember on YouTube when I was excited, when I reached 100 subscribers, where I do a 100 followers Twitch stream special. When I hit that milestone. I don't know if you get anything for doing milestones. Oh my god, do you want to see the PS1 filter? The filter is honestly awful. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Brace yourself. I'm turning it on. Look at this! It's disgusting! What were they thinking? It's just... They turned the... Contrast up. Like crazy. And... Um, yeah, it just looks horrible. There's just a weird scaling effect going over everything. And everything just looks really, really weird and wrong. It doesn't look anything like it did on the PS1. Of course you love it. It's, it's so, so bad. Why is it an even an option? Yeah, there we go, got another orb. There's one more to get now. I'm kind of crusty. Should I play the, less, the rest of the level with it on? I'm gonna lose all my followers now. Look at it! Look what it does to the background! It just turns it all into mush. Oh, I don't think I could actually play a whole level with this. What? It just doesn't make any sense. It'd be cool, like, if they used the PS1 uh, 3D models or something, but it's just exactly the same game with some really weird high contrast filter slapped over the top of it. Like, if I turn it off... Like, that's how it's supposed to look. 
and that's how it looks with the filter on. Like, all just crushed. No, I'm not playing the rest of the level like that. Yeah, huge disappointment. Yeah, it does actually. It looks like the compressed video on the GBA. Yeah. Maybe that's what they were going for. They should have called it the GBA filter. Although, the actual graphics for the real Klonoa games on the GBA look incredible. Some of the best pixel art, actually, that you'll find on anything. They really do look really, really nice. I wonder what the filter looks like on Klonoa 2 on here, if they use the same one. Because I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to get that sort of uh, PS1 aesthetic. They just, they just failed horribly, but... I see the idea behind it, but the PS2 didn't really have an aesthetic. It just looks like this, but slightly lower resolution. So I'm not sure what they would do for that, if anything. But I'm really looking forward to playing Planoa 2, because I did really, really enjoy that game on the PS2. So I'm looking forward to revisiting that. It's been a lot, probably about 10 years since I played it last on the PS2. Oh no! So I'm really looking forward to revisiting that one. It's, um, it's faster paced as well, from what I remember. Oh, I missed one of them, never mind. Oh no, I'm not doing very well here. Oh. Okay, I'm concentrating this time. I don't need to pick him up. Right, uh, let's see if I can get all of them this time. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. And an extra one. Oh, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I did it, and I got an extra life to make up for the horrible way I just did that section. Oh no, oh no, oh no! There's nowhere to stay when you're down there. Maybe I should just ignore those two gems. Okay, right here. I'm going to be more patient with the fire this time. I'm not sure how to time it when they're both off at the same time. Or maybe that... No, that end one doesn't turn off at all. Right, so... Stay here. And then use that to drop down there and hit that egg first. That's it. That's the last character to save in this stage as well. So we actually 100% to this level. And there's the final orb. That was a bit of an awkward section, though. This was kind of collector's edition in Japan for this release. That's cool, I haven't seen any other editions. Uh, there's, the, there's the one I got. Just the regular version for the Switch. It is really weird that in America they didn't get any physical release whatsoever. I wonder why that was. So, is this going to take me to where I want to go next? Whoa! Well done. Not bad, I guess. Is that it for the stage, or do I need to do another part of it? The path to the altar has been opened. The High Priest will surely be pleased as well. Be happy, you have our permission. Uh, right. I don't know what they're on about either, Klonoa. Glad to not live in the US. One of many reasons to be glad not living in the US. Solar Eclipse? Is that some kind of joke? Although I make fun about living in the US, but I don't think anywhere is a good place to live at the minute. Gadius the Dark Spirit is bewitched by a nightmare. Exactly. He's awakened from a 3,000 year sleep. Oh, I could do with a 3,000 year sleep. There's still time. Go to the altar before the seal's broken. How about you guys? We're observers. We're observers. Remember, they're into the light. It won't hurt. Vision 5 1 clear. Whee! Oh, yeah, I sped that up. I was getting bored.
Vision 5 2. Is this the final level? It looks like there should be another set of stages on the left there as well. Can't quite remember. I think I'm near the end. How many times have I said that bit? Boom, my new video is still 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, after, you, after I finish this stream, you should go and watch my new video. You can see what all that mess of cables is behind me. There's the high priest, he looks like a minion. <laughs> Thank you, I was ambushed. Oh no. And you are. I'm Moya, the high priest. I'm the keeper of the sanctuary. Too late, the moon gate has been opened. The legendary kingdom will return soon. That can't be. Crest the moon kingdom gather, gathers the power to dream and in turn gives shape to Phantom Isle. Yeah, the retro setup one. I really struggled making a thumbnail for it, so I don't know whether that's why people aren't that interested, but it was impossible to show everything in one picture. Oh no, you don't want to set a nightmare on the world. Don't give up now. Even if the Moon Kingdom appears, we can still stop... I'm going to keep calling him Gradius, because that's what it looks like to me. We can still stop Gradius, we'll make it in time. Very well. I'll leave everything up to you. Go ahead to the Sanctuary. The Eclipse give power to evil ones. Take advantage of our enemies while there is light. While well, there is light. Okay. Weird story that only half makes sense. As time passes, it will get dark and the enemies will get stronger. Be careful. That's a cool mechanic for the stage. What is that? Oh no, your attacks won't work on these creatures. Oh, that's that's what they are. When it turns night, they become bigger platforms. Okay, that means I can't hurt any of the enemies. Well, that was a fast day. If that was between day and night, then. Oh, that was generous. And there's some health there as well. Oh no, I didn't hit the switch. Now I've got to wait here. Not sure why I was reminded of it, but did you ever play the GBA version of TY the Tasmanian Tiger 2? No, I haven't played the GBA version. I played I played some of the TY games, or some of the Thai games. Is the GBA one any good? I do really enjoy some of those kind of GBA versions of 3D platformers on home consoles. The Spyro GBA games are really good, and the Crash Bandicoot games. But yeah, is there anything that makes the Thai game special? Thai or T Y? I've never really known how to pronounce that series. Didn't they release a new one recently as well? Or or some sort of updated one? There was something new about that series, I think, recently. Okay, you found out what was in the special edition. It comes with the soundtrack. Costume DLC, a glass set, sticker, visual book, and poster. Wow, that sounds really cool. It's a shame we didn't get anything like that. I might have ended up getting it, actually. But maybe that's something I can try and track down whenever I can go to Japan next, whenever the borders open back up. That'll be something fun to look for. Shouldn't be that hard to find as well. Not like, where is it? Klonoa Heroes. I had that on my list to find in Japan, and I didn't even find it anywhere while we were there. At least not in the box. So I actually ended up having to buy it off Baii instead. <laughs> Everyone's waiting to go back to Japan. We'll get there one day. Maybe. Unless you want to go on a guided tour, but I don't think they will do guided tours just to Akihabara. So I wouldn't be happy doing one of them. I was about to have a job in Japan in 2020, and then COVID ha happened and it got cancelled. Oh no! That's really bad luck. Do you know if you'll be able to do the job uh, in the future when it opens back up again, or is it too late now? There's a fun car chase scene. Am I stuck here? I had it as a kid and remembered loving it. Maybe I'll check it out then. TY2 for the GBA. Um, am I stuck in here? Am I doing something wrong? Uh, 
Oh man, I really want to go back to Japan so bad. But I'm worried that when it does open up, it's going to be so packed full of tourists, it's going to be crazy. You might not get another opportunity. Oh, oh I can just jump down there. That's really sad. What was the job going to be, if you don't mind me asking? I always thought I would really like to go and work in Japan or live there, but I don't think that's ever going to happen now, so holidays it will have to be. And that I can live out my Japan fantasies through the various YouTubers that I watch who live there. Yeah, I managed to get over. Hello, we've got someone else there. King Bronco 87. Thanks for joining, and thanks for the follow as well. You're going to be a co-manager of the Manga Art Hotel in Tokyo. Wow. How did you end up getting that position? That sounds really cool. I didn't know there was a Manga Art Hotel as well. Maybe, maybe I can look to stay there for a few days next time I go. Man, I bet you were gutted when you found out you couldn't do that. I remember this from the old PlayStation. Yay, someone else who's played it on the PlayStation. I've got a PS1 game here somewhere. I brought all the Klonoa games out with me for the stream. There's the PS1 game. Do you remember that cover? I really like the nice purple and blue background on it. It looks really cool. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that Manga Art Hotel. That sounds cool. Oh no, I picked him up at the wrong time. I should have... I bet it's going to turn to day now, isn't it? I'm going to be stuck. Oh no, at least I managed to get out. I got a few of them before it changed. That fell a bit faster than I was getting worried about. There's a one-up. That usually means that something bad's going to happen to you. I've learnt to be patient with the fire. After what happened last time. Right. So, what is going on here? Do I need to... Can I pick them up? Are they going to come through the screen? Maybe not? Oh no, has that platform got stuck on the other side? I can't use them as a platform either. What am I meant to do here? Okay, I can catch it as it's going forward. Right, got that. So... The idea is to wait here in the day, catch it, and then throw it at those enemies so that you can get through. Let's try that. I think I messed up a bit there. So that's the big one, Freed. Where's he going? Oh no! Ah! Oh no, I'm dead! Uh, let's see what you have to say, Flaming Creed. I went to Japan in April 2019 and I got to talk to the manager while I was there and he was willing to employ me for said position, but papers for a visa had to be made in order and I was just finishing my JLPT over the summer as well. Oh wow, that was really nice of him to offer you the position like that. That's crazy. Well, yeah, hopefully he remembers you when it opens back up and you can try again. And did you manage to pass your JLPT exam? I used to be learning Japanese, but um, after I'd been there for the second time, I thought I really wanted to get into it, and I was really getting into it. And then I got really busy, and then unfortunately <laughs> my Japanese teacher died. And uh, yeah, I didn't have any more lessons after that. So that was a bit of a shock. The shock ending to my learning Japanese. Ah, why am I struggling to pick those up? 
She's not a bot. She's my cheerleader. I need to get a Rasuchu cheerleader remote. Remember to follow me. Yeah, that took a turn for the worst. I wasn't expecting it. Right, he was a really nice guy as well. He had a he had a really big house with like a library inside it, and he had like textbooks from like the ten different languages that he knew. He was crazy. Why am I really struggling on this bit? Pikachu cheerleader, yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. I did learn a lot from him. And um, I know some people read that blog post I made the other day about uh, changing careers, but in there I, I talked about um, looking at Japanese a lot back then. I used to go on the Japanese news websites and see how much I could read and understand. And I would always be writing down the hiragana and trying to memorise it. So I did get into it quite in a big way for a few years. But I haven't tried now for a while. I probably don't remember that much these days. I would still really like to be able to read Japanese. Get all these gems. Yeah, I finally can escape this section. Uh, where are we meant to go? Oh, that way's blocked off. I couldn't tell then. Oh no! Don't pop it. Am I supposed to get up there and down in one go then? Yeah, like that. I like that this level is more challenging than some of the early ones. Again, I'm not sure which direction I'm meant to be going though. Or maybe there's nothing over here. There's something there. Um, but there's no enemy to pick up to be able to jump up there. Oh! Ah, almost. Right, I know what to do. Maybe? I don't know whether this is the right... Path. Or maybe. I think he's going to respawn anyway, but. Try grabbing this one. And then. Oh, I'm doing it too late. Grab it, come back to wait on this platform. And then wait for the next one. Wait for it to respawn, maybe? No. I don't even think I can kill him. Maybe you can't get through this way. Do you just have to do it instantly? No? There must be some way of getting up there. Uh, one of the reasons why the manager was so interested in me was also because of my skills in Dutch, English, French, German and Portuguese, besides Japanese, also a huge passion for manga went a long way. Wow. Yeah, I can see why you'd be interested, because you'd be able to help out a lot of the people in you would stay there if you know that many languages. That's crazy. How did you end up learning so many different languages? Um, well done. That's, that must take a lot of effort to, to learn all that. Where am I meant to be going? In here? Oh, okay. Well, that's not where I was meant to go, but at least there was someone to rescue in there. Um... But I don't know, I feel like I missed a section in the corner there and that's probably where the last one of the characters was hiding. Back outside again though. This is the long level. Where do they actually fly in from? Oh, there's teleporters there. Damn, I don't like this night changing mechanic. You can't do anything when it's night time. Just gonna wait for it to change back. Okay, now I can go through. Wow, this is a long level. 
I wonder what the speedruns look like for this game, because it is quite a slow, methodical style platformer. It's not really built for going fast. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of tactics people can use to speed up the levels. In Belgium, we pretty much speak Dutch, French and German in the east of the country, so those languages had to be learned in school, plus English. I guess that makes sense. I guess being in the UK, it's kind of impressive when you find out that people have learned other languages, because we had to do French or German in school, but no one really paid that much attention to it. And then, once you get to GCSEs, you can drop the languages all together. And it does feel a bit like... Hmm, lazy of us because a lot of people have to learn to speak English as well so we kind of just think yeah we can get by without learning any other languages because people won't be able to understand us anyway which is sad but true does that make any sense as a kid it was quite confusing sometimes yeah I bet having to learn so many languages at once But I know a lot of people that can speak multiple languages, and I'm always kind of jealous. I'm not sure what that switch just did. I'll just keep going round, I guess. I wasn't paying attention then. Oh, that was all. It just opened this up. But, uh, what good is opening that one? Do I just have to go back inside now? I think I wasn't paying attention then, I missed something. Oh! Oh, okay. I can bring him inside and get up there. That makes sense. Let's head back out. Let's pick him up, go back in here. Oh no, I missed the checkpoint. Can I go back? Oh no! Oh no! I didn't hit the checkpoint! Right, I've got to be really careful now then. Or else I'll be sent back quite far. I've learned how to play well with fire at least. And then take me to an identical room. That's the last few. No, my drinks are gone. Speeding up these cutscenes make them look really weird. Run. Where are we? Run. It's you, little brat. Daddy. Daddy. The dark spirit, Gradius, or Ravenbeak. Yeah. Will you still be going back to studying <laughs> Japanese? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would like to, but I have so many other things that I want to focus on as well. And with, I'm just starting a new job as well, so I want to kind of focus on that for a bit. But maybe I'll get back into it. I've still got all my old textbooks and stuff. And my old Japanese teacher gave me a, um, a Windows software disk, which was pretty good for learning. Like it gave you like four different pictures, and then. Sometimes it would ask you to like write in Japanese, like what isn't shown in the picture, or you'll hear a word spoken to you and you have to click on which images match up with what was being said. So it was a good way of learning. And I used to have a kanji app on my phone and it would do like quizzes. Oh cool, you read that on my website as well. I was surprised the amount of people that read that post actually, but yeah, thanks a lot. Hopefully it's good. I start on Monday. I'm quite excited. I just had a phone call from Amelia to say they've got my laptop ready for me to go and pick up. So... Uh, no, it wasn't Anki. Uh, I didn't really like Anki that much. The flashcards thing. Um, I don't... Oh, I haven't got it on here anymore. I think it was called iCanner. On the iPhone. 
There was two. There was Ikanna and Ikanji, and they had like little quizzes that you could do and speed test. So it would flash something up, and you'd have to type tap the right answer really fast. But the the reason I liked those apps as well is because it gave a history about what you were learning, which was really interesting. Like it went through the history of the Japanese language and why certain things are spelt the way they are and stuff. Which I found really interesting, like almost as much as learning the language itself, like learning where the meaning behind the different symbols and stuff. Uh, right, what do I need to do on this fight? Yeah, that is cool. It was iOS only, I think, but it's called iCanna. iCanna and iKanji, if you want to check them out. Hopefully they're still up on the store, because um, it was like... Maybe... Five or six years ago that I started using that app. Well, I presume it's still there. It might have been updated as well. Whoa, what's going on? No, he's transformed into a weird... Oh, okay. I think if I stay on the platforms too much... Oh, or am I just supposed to paint them? I really can't remember what to do here. Do I have to paint them all yellow? Ah! Oh, okay. Calm down. Yeah, maybe I have to paint them all yellow to make it go back into... The... Oh my god! Make it go back into the daytime. So, let's go... Yeah! Okay, I can dodge that one okay, but when he's when he slams down on the floor. Oh, that's scary! That's scary! That's scary! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh my god, that was close. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running. So it should turn back into daytime now? Yeah. Okay, at least I understood what I was doing. But, yikes, that attack is difficult to dodge. Come on, where's the enemy? No! This is going to be an awkward boss fight. You can't really time it either, because... Oh, maybe you can. Maybe you have to slow down, like there, where he's just walking towards you instead. But... Yeah, he's going to get to the... ...thing soon, where he turns it back into night time. Here we go. Now we're going to go and light up on the floor again. Try and find an easier way of dodging that fist where he slams it down into the floor. I've got this. I've only got one heart left though, so I'm getting a bit nervous. Dun, 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 dun. That bit's easy to dodge. The frantic music isn't helping my nerves either. Okay. okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. It's too fast. I've only got half a heart left now. Okay. Go the other way. Okay, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Go. Ah, there's a heart piece. Come back. Ah, no. I didn't know they jumped. Ah, now I've got to do it again. Yeah, I know what to do. You don't need to tell me how to do it. I've got it. I've got this. I've got this. Go. Yeah, damn. I... You believed in me too much there. Okay, now it's going to night time. I'm going to try and just keep going round in a circle. Just going to try and do that three times. I think it's three times, three different colours you have to turn on. Oh, they're not all they're not all done equal. Ah, that's scary. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, I think I know what to do now at least. Go the other way! Oh no. Well, at least there's hearts, sometimes. 
this is actually a really challenging fight. It's a cool one though. It reminds me of um, the kind of fights that you get on Sonic Rush on the DS. The way they go around in circles. And I do like the boss fights. They're all quite interesting. The way you kill them all is quite unique. Kind of reminds me of Nights into Dreams as well, because there were some fights in there where you go around in circles. Would you say Nights is a 2.5D game? I guess it kind of is. You're always moving on a side-scrolling plane. Oh dear, that didn't work very well. Oh my god, why am I finding this stage hard? This should be the easy bit. Great, now it's back to night time. Never played that game on the DS. No way. Actually, that that just gave me an idea. I've got a DS with a capture card. I wonder whether I could do a live stream of DS games. That'd be really cool. I'd love to play Sonic Rush on stream. And Sonic Rush Adventure as well. Maybe I'll do that after I finish Sonic Origins as my... Ah, as my Thursday streams. Yeah, don't expect another stream every Friday though. I was just uh, really excited to to get this game. Oh no, I need a heart. Ah oh, no! What? Oh, the heart appeared right there. Maybe it'll convince me to go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. If you can find it for a reasonable price, anyway. I have no idea how much the Sonic DS games are going for these days. Hopefully not that expensive. But since COVID, it seems like everything's expensive, whether it should be or not. Uh, this fight's annoying, though. Whoa. I think I just hit his fist like 10 times in a row. Then. Damn it. Wow, I did really badly there. At least I didn't get hit. Yeah, most DS games are expensive now. I'm so glad I got the majority of my collection when I did, when they were dirt cheap. And the same with the 3DS as well. They were practically giving the 3DS games away like four or five years ago. That's, uh, that's a word of advice. When a system's just gone out of... Um, like when the next generation has just come out, that's the perfect time to buy up as many games as you can from the previous generation. Whether you, th whether you think you'll want to play them straight away or not, just do it anyway. Because I can guarantee there'll be at least one game that you'll be able to get at that point in time for just a few quid. And yeah, you'll regret it later on when you see it going on eBay for like 60 or 70. Ah, oh, I hate that move. Just going for under 20. That's pretty good then. Ah oh, no, why did I throw that to the side? I'm concentrating now. I don't want to miss any shots. I say as I miss a shot. Come on. No. I don't want to get too close to his hands either. Oh no! I killed my attack. Oh no, no, it's this phase that I hate again. Got a lot of catching up to do on the DS list. Glad you have all the 3DS games you want. I find the DS to be a much more interesting system to collect for than the 3DS. There's a lot of really original games that you just wouldn't get these days. I guess because because the DS was still relevant before smartphones took over. So you get all those really weird ideas for games that you wouldn't get published anymore. There's a load of really cool games for that system. But the 3DS was mostly bigger property. Bigger IPs. 
because I think the publishers didn't want to take risks that as often when the 3DS was out. And I guess you can see that even more in the Vita, really. That era was like a pretty bad time for handhelds. Oh, get out of the way, I need to click those. Yay. I think I did that bit okay. Let's see whether I can do this bit. No, I was too soon then. I think I had to throw that then because it was about to jump out of my hands. Turn around. Oh no. Oh, I did hit it. That was lucky. One more hit, maybe? Yeah, I did it. Finally. That fight took longer than I was hoping. See what I mean about the original DS? There's just so many really cool games. My time seems to be up here. Shamed. Defeated. Dishonored. So dramatic. But uh, the time has come. Listen well, the sound of the Moon Kingdom's return. What is he on about? You'll end up in darkness, in a nightmare. Oh no, is this the beginning of Kingdom Hearts? My last DS pickups were Digimon Dusk and Dawn. Oh, that's cool. See, I've never even played the Digimon games for the DS. Are they any good? Have you had a chance to actually play them yet? The last DS game I picked up was Card Fighters DS, which I've got right here. And it was really disappointing. The um, the game on the Neo Geo was so good, and I thought that would be kind of similar, but it's really not. They ruined it. They changed the mechanics of the game, and the animations aren't as good. But I won't complain about it too much. Let's see what's going on here. Is this turning the world into a nightmare or something? Hmm. Yeah, have a look at some reviews after this for Card Fighters DS. They they are really like really scathing reviews, like three out of ten, saying the game is basically unfinished. It's yeah, it's so bad, it's so boring. I couldn't even get past like three rounds, and I went back to playing the Neo Geo Pocket one, and it's just a million times better. Which is really, really sad, because I think a game like that could work really well on the DS, but the way they made it, it was just really badly programmed, it just felt very rushed. The nightmare energy is pumping out into the world. Get on, Klonoa. Hey, Starlack, good to see you on here. I saw your comment earlier, I'll reply to it in a bit. Can't remember what my last DS pickup was, been mostly picking up 3D stuff. 3DS stuff also, hello. Cool, what have you been picking up for the 3DS? Might have to cut that one. Yeah, definitely cut that one. It's not worth it. I think I got it for like 15 quid and I felt like I wasted my money. Vision 6-1. Wow, this game is longer than I remember. Okay. Going on to level 6. Stop Pamela, we'll take it from here. I love the graphics in this area. Thanks, Pamela. It reminds me of um, the final level in Sonic R with all the crystals in the background. Klonoa, do be careful. Okay, I will. Let's do it. This must be the final level, surely. Been streaming for three hours, wow. Let's go, Hupo. Well, a bit less than that, because I had some weird technical issues. I've got to put an end to his evil plans. 
let's go. Why does this f feel like a Kirby level? Feels like something out of Kirby 64. I guess that's a very similar game, actually, in a lot of ways. Best 3DS pickup I did in 2022 is probably all the Inazuma 11 games. CIB for 30 euros, wow. And they're all official as well. That's crazy good. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Looks like all that is on the background layer. The last DS game I picked up was the acclaimed 218 one. Wow, yeah, I see that all the time on Amazon if you type in DS games. Is it actually 218 games? Or is it like 10 games with slightly different names? Like they used to be on the Game Boy and the GBA. Oh dear, I'm not doing this very well. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Wow, that was bad. We're supposed to be good at platformers. I like the um, aesthetic of this level. Uh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to do that fast enough. Am I supposed to do that fast enough? Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, and then we can go through there, and I presume that's smashed the one on the inside as well. Or oh, is that where I just came out of? I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, it's essentially just preloaded an R4 card, managed to load my own games onto it as well. Oh, that's cool. So it just has a. Um, there's just a micro SD card in there then. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I think that's going back on myself. I'm glad I didn't rush for the eShop titles in August, since you can merge funds from the Switch. Yeah, I realised that afterwards, like, they were making a big deal of not being able to add money, but you can still add money on the website, and yeah, you can still merge, merge money from different devices too, and I presume that's the same for the Wii U as well. So it wasn't really as big of a deal as people were making it out to be, although Obviously, the store will still be closing down next year at some point, but nothing to immediately worry about. That's why I haven't uploaded my DSiWare video yet. I was planning to make it. Oh no! Right below two hearts as well. No, I don't like you. Go away. I'm going to leave one of the hearts there in case I come back here later and need it. Oh my god, that killed the frame rate a bit. Right, we can't go through there just yet. And there's another heart there, but I don't need that one either yet. Ah, uh, uh, wow, well, that was lucky. I thought that would hit me then. Oh, I almost died then, looking at that message. I'll have a look at what you said in a second. Um, grabbed a couple of VC games, Bomberman, GB3, Bubble Bubble, Famicom, Metal Max. Metal Max 4. Oh, so some of the games are getting delisted already. I guess it depends on the publishers then. Yeah. 
That's cool. At least you managed to pick up some things you wanted before it closes. Oh, that was close. I just saved myself there. Okay, and now we can get through things that had blue... Um, blue statues. Those games are on the Japanese 3DS. Yeah. Uh, where do I need to go now? Back out here? Yeah, I um, I got my capture card 3DS modded, so it's region free now, which is great. So I can play games from all regions on there. So I've actually got quite a lot of. Well, actually, there's some 3 3D 3DS Japanese exclusive games that I want to try and get, and I'm glad that I can finally actually play them on an original system now. So maybe that's an idea for a future video as well. And for some stuff to pick up next time I'm in Japan too. Whenever that will be. I wonder whether there's um, a translation patches for Japanese 3DS games too. Because there was, there was one that when it was announced I was so excited to get and then it never got translated or released out outside of Japan. It was called Time Travelers. It came out on the Vita as well and it looked really nice. So I wonder if any of you guys have heard of that game. I know it's a kind of generic title but the game itself looked really cool. Hmm. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, you've got time travelers, that's cool. Have you managed to play it? Do you know Japanese? It was like one of those games that I was so hyped up for, and then it never came out. I was so upset. I don't know why it didn't get a translation. Because um, there was a game on the DS called Time Hollow, which was one of my favorite games on the DS. And I thought it might be similar to that, so I was really excited about the idea of it. You can... you learn in Japanese. That's good. I was just talking earlier before you turned up about how I used to have uh, Japanese lessons, but I've kind of given up on it. <laughs> Unfortunately, since my, since my Japanese tutor that just lived down the road actually died out of the blue, so I couldn't have lessons anymore. was a bit of a shock one day. So, yeah, not the best reason that I stopped learning. But I could get back into it. Maybe. Grab Time Hollow a bit ago. It's definitely worth playing Time Hollow. I really enjoyed the story in it. Oh, no worries. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming along to the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, take care. Hopefully I'll see you again on the next one. It's nice to see people having conversation in the chat as well. Definitely did, I'll be back again. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I know this isn't the most exciting game to watch. I'm always worried about not being like high enough energy or anything, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this like laid back, just chatting and playing games and stuff. I don't really watch Twitch as much as YouTube, so I don't really know like what works and what doesn't in that sense. Like what I should try and do to be more engaging or whatever. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know whether there's anything cool that I can add to OBS to make it more interactive for everyone. Anything like that. I'm planning to do this more regularly, so... Any tips, any tricks, let me know. Let's we'll see what we can do to make this a fun thing for everyone. Uh, being risky going down here. Yay, I got everyone. Yeah. 
I'm really enjoying playing this again. And I'm really looking forward to playing part two as well. I'm not sure when I'll do that on stream. Maybe... I don't know, maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it. I don't have any plans tomorrow evening. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, I missed one gem. Never mind. My tip would be not to listen to too many tips. What makes the streamers stand out is they aren't like any others. That's good. Maybe it's a good job that I don't watch too much Twitch then. I'll, I'll find my own way on the platform. That's basically how I did, how I found my way through YouTube. Just keep experimenting. Um, I don't know what door I just opened. It's probably... Where's that yellow one trying to take me? Oh, just up here. Here we go. Yeah, I've... I didn't really listen to any tips on YouTube, I just made it up as I was going along and found out what worked and what didn't. But I think YouTube's a lot easier at figuring out what you need to do, right or wrong, because you get all of the different analytics that you can look at, and you can see the retention graphs and things, and you know what you need to tweak and what... You know, how many videos get likes versus dislikes and things, whereas... I think on Twitch there's a lot less you can do in that sense, to try and optimise it. It's more about just being an entertaining person. Which is cool, it's just a different skill set, I guess. One more level down. 6-2 now. Is this the final one? Or is there seven worlds? What time is it? Quarter to eleven. Let's see. Time of restoration. But it's a Friday, so I don't really need to rush. It's... Oh my god, this is like a dream I had last night. He looks like Pocoyo, who is like some weird kid's cartoon character. Let me see if let me see if he actually does first. Yeah, so that character, I've never even seen the show it's from, but that character came to me in a dream last night and told me that there was a special version of it with Klonoa and Pokugo in the game at once, and I was Ooh, thank you, T. Stay hydrated. I've got three different drinks here. But yeah, Pokoyo came to me in a dream last night and told me there was a special edition of Klonoa for the Switch, which was a crossover of Klonoa and Pokoyo. And I looked on every website in my dream and I went to every game shop I knew and no one knew that it existed. And seeing that character then has just brought that back to me. And I, What a weird thing to think. I was so sure that it existed in my head last night. <laughs> I can't believe I just remembered that. That's so funny. He's not Paco, yo. He's Prince of the Moon Kingdom. The Ring Spirit was my disguise. I had my reasons for treading into the outside world. I've been ignoring the cutscene again. I promise to tell you everything later. I want you to just trust me, just a little bit more. Can you help us just a little bit more, Klonoa? What are you talking about? We've been friends forever, right? Has he been friends with these weird moon people? You've found yourself a fine friend. Yes, mother. Another fan. Last time you played Kaleno was the Wonderswan version. I got the Wonderswan one right here. There it is. I want to get a backlit Wonderswan so I can show it off properly in videos. No, that won't move any further though. Huh? Are 
are you trying to help calm me down? Thank you. It doesn't help having all these lights on. Uh, where do I need to go now? This way? <laughs> I don't think that's going to reach me from there. A little bit. Yeah, the window's open. You are very warm. How do you know? Oh, that's better. I've got a big fan behind me. Got the window wide open. Got another fan over there. I think I'll be fine. It is crazy hot today. It's still 16 degrees and it's 11 o'clock at night. I think we're nearly done now anyway. Well, I can go for a cold shower. Where did the sun come from in the UK? Uh, it came in a flash cart with the system. Go for a place like the real cart. No, it's not 16 in here, it's like 30 or something. And maybe not quite that hot. 20 something at least. I need to get a flash cart for the Wonder Swan. I would love to check out more games for the system. There's a really interesting game that I got for it last time I was in Japan, which is... Um, uh, is it over there? No, I don't know if it's there or not, but it's, it's a weird game that you have to hold at like a 45 degree angle. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's... Um, it's like a rhythm game. Is there a way I can pick them up? Oh yeah. Oh no! They killed, they killed each other. Rescued Poco Yo. I've got to figure out how to use it. How to figure out how to use what? The flash card? I, I had a weird one for the Neo Geo if you remember that video. I was supposed to go and give that back today, but I didn't end up going to Birmingham in the end. So I still have the backlit Neo Geo for another week. Maybe I should play it some more. I did play all the way through Card Fighters for it, which I really loved. Like I was saying, the DS one was rubbish in comparison. Oh, how am I going to get through there? That's fast. Not like that. But never mind. There's another one. Uh, so hot. Yeah, the flash card. This is the game you're talking about, Rhyme Rider. Maybe? Is it like a bright yellow cover? And the screenshots on the back are tilted so it looks like the game's normal, but when you play it, you have to hold it to the side. Uh, I can't remember. Hold on. I thought it was over there, but it's not. I've got Mega Man there. And I've got one called Last Alive, which is kind of like SOS on the SNES. But it's a visual novel. So maybe if I learn more Japanese, then, then I can play that one. But I just thought it looked interesting. I don't know where that rhythm game is, though. But... I think it was something they mentioned on Retronauts once, and that's how I found out about it. Oh, how am I meant to get in there? Maybe I had to use the big one.
No, I'll just do that. Wow, that loading screen was struggling. Usually that's quite smooth. where I have to set them all up for a certain time limit. That wasn't too hard. And we can carry on down here. Hmm. Random sand. They could have just put the platform by the door. It looked cool though, I guess. This music reminds me a lot of Nights Into Dreams as well. I wonder whether they got any inspiration for the game. Oh, that's gone back to the start of the level. Yeah, I wonder if they got any inspiration from Nights when they were making this game. Uh, what came out first, actually? I think Nights did, by a year, maybe? I'm not sure. Ninety-seven. Maybe they came out the same year? This night's ninety-six. Yeah, checkpoint, there we go. Next part of the level now. Oh wow, I have to do three at once, okay. Yeah, easy. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have thrown him away there. I might have needed him. Oh no, it's fine. And then remember, you can use the fat ones as platforms. I like the fact that it puts what you've learnt to the test in this level. To make sure that you know how to play the game properly. That's the first hidden egg that I've seen for a while. There's two there. Uh, I get it. So you got to time your jump and then hit down. That's pretty easy. And there's uh, one of the hidden characters down there. Is it further that way? Oh, okay, have I got to be a bit... Oh, uh, no! Oh, it's okay. I thought that was a bottomless pit. Maybe that would have been too unfair. I can't get back out there. Now I'm free. I think I did that fairly well. Oh no, he's got two shields. Ah! Oh no, that wasn't fair, I got stuck. Yeah, that must have been the game I was on about then, yeah. I'm not sure where it is though, I thought it was on the shelf behind me. I don't think I need to go down there again. Yeah, I got it. So, oh, that's good. I can get an early hit in as well. Huh. Just whoop. There you go. It wasn't that much trouble. I want to do some streams of more obscure games as well in the future, like that. But I want to, I want to try and use original hardware, and I don't really think there's a way of 
streaming the Wonder Swan. I doubt there is. Why can't I grab them in, in the window? That's pretty annoying. Am I lining it up wrong? Okay, got him this time. Oh no, I didn't double tap then. This bit's annoying. Okay, are we done with this section? Yeah. I don't know why the camera has to pan so slowly to show you what happens. Like, that's the only other place you can go in the level, you would have found out anyway. Never mind, let's carry on. this isn't... this is timed, really? How are you going to do this fast enough? And then jump for the last one, maybe. Oh no. Right, how are you supposed to do this fast? Can't do it in the middle. Any ideas? Are they on the same level as him? No. Does one last longer than the other one? Oh, am I supposed to use the one down here? That's it. Yeah, I got it. I just need to be faster. Oh no, I missed it. Well, I got I got the idea now anyway. <gasps> if I don't die before I get there. Yay, there we go. I was worried I was going to land on that enemy then and it would kill me. So now we've opened up the green pillar. Now we can go to the next section and hopefully there's a checkpoint there. Another pointless sand area. Very nice into dreams feel to this stage. This is like the final level where you fly into that tower. Ah, oh, Knights is another game I would love to stream as well. I have so many ideas. Yay, health, I need that. Desperately. Oh my god, how big's this level? I thought the last level was long. Ah! Uh, damn it. Got a fair collection for the 3DS's now. That's good. What, what are some of your favourite... Mm, your favourite hidden gems, if you want to call them that. What are some of the lesser known titles that you enjoy in the 3DS? I keep saying it's a system without that many hidden gems, but... I've managed to get a good selection now. Maybe I should do a hidden gems video.
Oh no. Oh, this is where all my lives are gonna go. Okay, I've gotta pay attention here. Oh, ow. Okay, fine. That was scary. Is it gonna come back to life? Ah, oh, yes, I got it. That was close. That was a scary bit. The outside feels like Nights into Dreams and the inside feels very much like a Kirby game. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's the enemy that you need to... You need to do that. There we go. And do it again. Hey. Getting through this now. There's another checkpoint. Is he going to turn around? Start to time it like that. Oh, you're as horrible as those those enemies in Sonic 2. Oh no! Well, at least there was a checkpoint not far behind. If I had to do this whole level again, though, I'd be so annoyed. This level so long. Come on, why can't I pick him up? Just a little boomerang. Oh, maybe that's the right thing to do, and use this one up here to hurt him. Let's see. If I can use this to drop down from above. Oh no! Am I stuck on this side now? I can use him to get back up. Okay, let's try again. Timing's awkward for this. Yay, there we go. And now, very slowly, show me the diamond in the corner. Get shattered. Ow. Squash, 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 squash. I don't think there was any need for me to take him all the way down here. Health, give me the health. I finally started to need to worry about how much health I've got. Oh no! Oh, I didn't realise I'd be able to stand on there. I don't think I'll be able to get up to the next level though. So hopefully the enemies respawn. Do they? Or am I stuck here now? Am I stuck here? Now they're respawning. So you have to do this whole section again then. Oh, that's not good. Hey, at least I found all the guardians in this level. Or whatever they're called. What are they called again? Oh! Oh my god, this is... this is challenging. Oh, maybe I'm just not very good at the game. Oh, 
Hey, I got up. Let's level. Okay, don't throw your boomerang. That's fine. No! Oh, uh, really? Really? It's going to send you all the way back down? That's so unfair. Why, does it, why do they only respawn when I get down there? So you have to go through like four levels perfectly. And the boomerangs can hit you off the platforms completely. Oh god. That's so unfair. And then when he throws it, for some reason... Oh no, damn it! Oh, I was rushing it too much then. I didn't need to pick that heart up yet either. Oh my god, this bit is so infuriating. No! Damn it! If this was a let's play, this is this is the kind of bit that I would edit out the video. Or speed up. Rage compilation. Except I don't rage very well. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. Yes, finally. If I fell down then. Okay, in those that was challenging. It gave me three hearts. Alright, what's going on here? How, f how did you do that that fast? I'm literally going as fast as I can there and they're popping back. I must be missing something. Oh, okay, I can hit that one myself. Oh, that wasn't too hard then. You can, I didn't realise I could hit that one without throwing an enemy at it. Now on to the next door. Is this the last one? I hope so. Oh, I tried to jump off a bit too soon then. Oh, good picks. Friday Monsters is so good. The atmosphere in that game is amazing. We must be nearly at the end of this stage. This is going on forever. One extra life. I think I deserve more than that. Whoa, now he's learnt to fly somehow. Did I get so high up that gravity stopped working? Soon the Nightmare Crystal Nahar Tomb will be ready. But what is this? This dream. A dream that cannot be corrupted by nightmares. It must be removed.
Oh, why are you doing this? I'm tired of this foolish world that neglects nightmares. Is that reason enough? What does that even mean, neglects nightmares? I've already abandoned by this world this time. It's my turn to abandon it. No, never. Very well. Meet your doom. Ha 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 ha. Wow, this is a very nice into dreams looking fight. Or, oh, okay. This is like the final fight of every 3D Sonic game ever. Weird, hypnotic graphics and a weird enemy, giant enemy in space. So, what am I actually supposed to be doing? Maybe I'm not supposed to go through them just yet. Probably can't remember this fight very well. Okay. I can pick some of them up. Do I have to take them with me? No. Yeah, some of the Kirby games end like this as well. Apparently the final boss at the end of the new Kirby game is really good, but I haven't played that much of that one yet. Okay, when am I going to have a chance to actually hit him? I have to go up here. Maybe that would have hit him if I went right to the top. Is that what I'm meant to do? I really can't remember. It's been maybe 10 years since I last played the first Clonoa game. Right up here. No. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Do I just throw it forward, maybe? Throw into the screen. Yeah, I'll try that. I can pick one up. Oh no. I think there's nothing you can do in that area. Oh, really? That's all you had to do? I was thinking too hard. I kind of want to start the fight again now. Now I know that. That's way simpler than I thought it was. I thought I had to jump up and attack his head. There must be more to it in a bit, but there must be another phase to the fight. Lost my chance then. I want to restart. I've only got one half of a heart left. Is he going to drop any hearts? Oh, I died and changed scene. Grab the four enemies and throw them back. The enemies will change direction. Once they run into the floor, hit them with a wind body. Hmm? Smash the corners of the barrier with wind bullets and grab the enemies that attack. Touch your orb of light and flow an arrow will be pushed to the outside if this happens. Touch it to go back in again. So, yeah, there's no point being on the outside. I think is what that was saying.
music's really weird on this. Okay, got two hits in. Not bad. And just try and stay in the middle. Oh no! Destroyed it straight away. No, I don't want to go there. Oh, it's easy enough to get out. Right? This is the first game that's not going... The first boss fight that's not, like, going around a 3D environment. This one's just fixed flat. Ooh, okay, now we get a new phase. Is this what it was saying about destroying the three things of the triangle or something? Okay, what's going on? Should I be scared? What? I don't even know what just happened then. Okay, I managed to destroy one of them. Maybe you just get sent to that area every time you destroy one. Oh no, they just turn into those orbs. Okay. Right, now what? Oh, am I meant to throw them into him then? Maybe. No? Oh god, what's going on there? Am I supposed to try and get close enough to hit it? Yeah. Okay, cool, I get it. And you've got one chance to hit them while they're on the floor. Ah, oh, I thought I got it then. That's really difficult, the... The hitbox is really small. Oh god, that was scary. There's no hearts anywhere either. <clears throat> I'm nearly dead again. Yes! Oh no! Well, I got rid of all three of them, so maybe... Yeah, you can watch where his hands are pointing. Oh, now it's another one of these ones. This one was a bit easier. A little bit? Oh, no. Okay, I know what to do. Oh no, oh no. I was getting too excited then. No, oh, I threw it to the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad. Half health already. No, this one's actually pretty scary because you can grab it and they'll still come towards you. If you're going at it from the wrong angle. Maybe the best thing to do is wait for them to bounce off the floor. 
sorry about that. Yeah, that worked. Is this one coming back? It's a shame you can't grab it up, because I might have been able to catch it then. But when you press up, you actually just look forward instead. Yes. And the last one. Wow, that was good. Okay, we got this. I think there's only two hits left. Is this the one where he's going to get the triangles out and hit the floor with him? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that one. Yay! Wow. Made it look easy that time. That was a cool boss fight. Very, very interesting different patterns there. Ooh. Your control is vibrating the table. Can I know her? Hey, everyone's here. Even the... Even the weird Pokemon trainer dog guy from the start. Dang, I thought I'd have a chance to get him. I knew you were up to the challenge. Peace return now. Well done, well done. Congratulations. You're safe now, thanks to me. Stopping nightmares from taking over the world, I think. Oh no, Gradius is back. The nightmare energy is already full. It has taken over Diva something's body. And the Nahatum will be born any time now. The world's dreams pass through a prism, the source of all that is phantomile. Is it going to be an epic final battle? The world is finished. You know he's being serious when he does the evil genius laugh. Uh, the control is trying to get me to pay attention again. Is this an egg full of nightmares? Nahatome is born. He even added his own nightmare. There's still hope. There is a final power left for our ancestors for this day. It's time to combine the strength of the five tribes. Lend me your hands. Righto, come on everyone. Thank you. Quickly, let's go above. Pablo, let's go. Come on, let's get going. Time to explain, let's go. Final vision. Now we know it's the last level. Wow, this game's a lot longer than I remembered it being. I've been streaming for nearly four hours. I don't think I've been playing it slowly. These are the moon cannons, of course. Why are they not on the moon? We will aim the cannons. You can pass us ammunition. Inflated enemies should do nicely. Of course, they're created exactly for this very specific power that Klonoa and no one else has. Apparently this is what a nightmare looks like. The dream at nightmare's end. 
The scars of Cress. Okay, where are the enemies? They're on the other side. This is like, um... Oh, no, they have... Shielded ones. Oh my god, it's gonna... Okay, so they become shielded. They start shielded. And then he does his... Hand slam thing. Oh no! I can pick me up as well. So how do I know which cannons of? Have... Yeah, okay, I get it. Spit me out, kill me, whatever. Yeah, this this is like that fight with the golem in Sonic Adventure 2. How do I know which cannons are loaded? The ones that are facing towards him, I guess. The one where you have to jump up that thing's back and then hit it in the head when it bends over. So. Ah! Uh, oh my god, how am I still alive? Oh. I'm not sure how to jump over that one. Nearly there, guys, nearly there! You can't damage him directly. Focus on. Yeah, I know, what I'm, I know what I'm supposed to do. Thanks, game. Nearly there, guys. Final boss. We can do it. So. That was good. Can I jump over all three of these at once? Yeah. And now, jump over the fire! And then he's gonna hit the other three. And then we can use those for ammo in the other guns. Move faster! Oh no, I didn't manage to dodge that very well. I think I can jump over the fire without double jumping. Ah, no. How many's left now? One? I've done these three. Yeah, just the one at the back left. I really love the boss fights in this game. They're all so clever. So cleverly designed. They're really fun. Uh, where is it? Here. It's the Pokemon Trainer. Why can't he stay still? Uh, jump over the fire! Oh, wow, did that take him out all in one go? No, I hope there's more to the fight than that. Is that it? I guess that's what they said we needed to do. Oh no. Of course there's another part inside his stomach. Ah, here we go. Now it's a proper Kirby final boss. Oh my god, what is going on here? Oh god, he's got laser eyes and everything. What, what am I supposed to do? It must be something to do with those rocks. I'm guessing. Oh my god, that, that enemy just fell right off the end of the platform. Throw the enemy forward to hit the rocks. Got it. And to, to get to the rocks at the top, you have to be on the right side of the platform when it's swaying. Okay, right, hopefully it starts me from this part of the fight, not the first part. Yes. I don't like the fact that the tutorial tells you how to fight the boss. Part of the fun is figuring out how to do that on your own. Okay, once again, I'm making it look easy on the second try. Yay. Now what? Throw it at him? No. Throw it at his eyes, maybe? Uh, maybe I had to time it to um, throw it at his eyes when they're open. Maybe. I don't think there's any more rocks to hit. Maybe that one. That one was sparkling for some reason. Let's try it. Yeah, that's it. Apparently that hurt him, somehow. He doesn't like sparkly rocks. Oh, 
just missed. Okay, at least I know what to do though. Don't know why hitting a sparkly rock hurts it though. That's weird. I thought it would be the eyes. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's because I've still got the tutorial turned on, isn't it? Never mind. It's only a small annoyance. Oh my god, what's going on now? All of us will hide here. These platforms should protect us. Throw the enemy downwards. Does it mean throw them out of the screen? There's not been many points in the game where you need to actually throw backwards, so that's pretty cool. Oh no. Right. So throw it like that. Oh no. Does it mean throw it down? I'm glad this fight was longer than just that, because that would have been disappointing. Oh no! Yeah, so I probably have to do the double jump in between these pits and line it up with them coming across. Like that, maybe? Oh, I just missed. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Ah! Watch out for his rainbow farts. Ah, oh, he got in the way! At least I broke his shield, so I can use him as a normal enemy, eh? Yeah, I got one. Um, oh, I left that a bit too late. I know I did that wrong. Oh, health. That was kind of it. Yes, got another one. And there's another one coming up. No, too slow. I haven't quite got the timing right on this bit yet. Three this time. Okay, I need to leave it a bit later. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so the ones that you need to get are just the ones that are staying down. The rest of them are already have already moved up. So no, too slow. Okay. Oh, he killed the one with the. Yes, that's the final one, I think. Ah! Uh, oh no, there's another one. I thought I'd got them all. Okay, I guess I'll keep going around this way. That's the final one. Let's see what happens now. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, they got him. That fireball would hit me then and knock me off the edge. This is it, Klonoa. Put me on a wind bullet and shoot me into Nahatoon. But what will happen to you, Hupo? Don't worry, we'll always be together. Both of our strengths combined, I understand. Oh no. He's gonna sacrifice himself. Oh, I didn't get to press it. Oh, that's sad. That's a cool finish to the game, though. A sad end. I won't fast forward this one.
the diva, the idol herself. Oh, I lied, I fast forwarded a bit. Thank you. All the nightmares have disappeared. <laughs> when you fast forward, it does make some of their animations look funny. <laughs> You bow together always. That's what you said. Ah, oh, poor Glenoe. Is that his ghost or something? He's turned into Pokoyo. It's alright, I'm just tired. So, is he still alive? How are your wounds, Hedon? Oh, you should take it easy. He is alive! You got to go back home with him. There's no no more Nahatome to worry about. Are you going back to the Moon Kingdom? It's weird that they did the cutscenes in the game engine. I'm sure in the original it was like a really nice CG, like anime style cutscene. So it does look a bit weird. But I guess that's how you can fast forward it and stuff. You don't really exist in this world. What? I called you from your world so that we could restore the balance of dreams. What are you talking about? It's true, this world is not your reality. No, I remember everything. The first time I met you, playing with you, the fake memories that I made. Whoa. You believe them? No, you're lying. You're lying, you're lying, you're lying. The strange dream Gadia spoke of, your presence. A strange dream? He can't stay, it's not real. Why does he sound like Bob and Bob from Bubble Bobble? Now we have a CG, or is it just really blurry in game? I can't tell. Yeah, it was just blurry. Oh no, what's going to happen to Klonoa? It's time for you to go. It is a really cool story and surprisingly deep for this kind of game. Maybe the same voice actor. Maybe. It did sound very similar. Yeah, one second. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same, listen. That one. Yep. They're basically Klonoa sound effects. Uh, I don't know whether you could hear that or not. Hey, there we go. That is Klonoa 1. And I'll end the stream here. Can't believe I've been streaming for four hours. Wow. So thank you everyone who came along. Hope that was f a fun watch. I really do love that game. 
So I'm so glad that I was able to stream it the day it came out as well. So that was really exciting. I've got a lot of other Kalinoa games here that maybe I'll play on stream. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just play them in my own time. I want to make a video about the series at some point. So definitely stay tuned. Go and check out Retro Breaks YouTube channel, Retro Break, um, RetroBreak.co.uk as well. I've got my own website as well now where I basically upload everything that I've been working on. So definitely go and check that out. Look forward to the Kalinoa video and I'll be back maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after to play through Kalinoa 2 as well, which I also really love. So now I believe the etiquette on Twitch is to find someone to go and raid. So let's see who's live, who I can send you guys over to. Let's see whether I can remember how to do it from last time as well. Stream manager, I think. Let's see if there's anything after the credits first. Let's fast forward through these. Wow, there's a lot to get through. I'll just keep fast forwarding while I find out who's on. Uh, so, raid channel. I don't really follow that many people. There isn't actually anyone live that I know, so. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to go and follow more people first. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the stream here now. I think that's the end. Let's just see if it takes me back to the title screen. Yeah, it does. So yeah, thanks everyone for coming along. Really hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back soon for the next one. And yeah, cool. Let me know whether you make any videos. Right, I'm gonna go now. Thanks everyone for stopping by. I'll see you all again in the next stream and go and check out my new video. It just got uploaded a few hours ago, so enjoy. See ya.